sounds of combat. Oh, I'm going. Uh, what are we doing? I am raged. This water league looking creature appears from the ground. From the swamp. Water. You know, the muck. I'm going to throw my uh, javelin at it. Okay, you won't be able to get your javelin back just so you know. That's oh, what I'm looking for. Uh, I mean, he is in the water, right? Like, like swimming yeah. for <clears throat> Unless you epically miss. I'm just saying. Do you epically yeah, miss? Throw, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think that does shit. Oh, it does. It hits. That hits. Yeah. For five piercing damage, and I have resistances. Okay, so, yeah. It might have done damage. You're not certain. All right. Am I good to go? Uh, that is Kusa. Okay. I'm going to move 35 feet this way. And then as my action, I am going to use... Hunter sense to detect any immunities or resistances the creature may have. Does that does it say anything specific, like what types of creatures, or uh, is it limited to like like living beings, you know, undead, outer planars, or any like no. restrictions like that? You just you gain the ability to peer at a creature and magically discern how best to hurt it. As an action, choose one creature within sixty feet. Yada yada. Yeah, you want to look at um, it. I like that. Freezing or cold would be my answer to that. You want to freeze this creature. It's does, water. Does it have resistance or immunity to damage? So you it, read that again. He says you best discern how to hurt it, correct? Uh, you immediately learn whether the creature has any damage immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities, and what they are. Yep. Okay. It is resistant to acid, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, and it's res immune to poison. It's immune to exhaustion, grappled, paralysis, petrified, poison, prone, restricted, unconscious. It's immune and, to all these things. Wow. Can I speak as a bonus action? Yep, yeah, you can speak as a bonus action. Uh, can You're I limited. To, like, yell out to the people up here that yep. we're fighting? Yep. <clears throat> Okay, so Nathan, you can come back in now that your guys have notified you. I'm just going to drag you back up in the order for Vexus. Do, 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 right here. Uh, that's your turn, Kusa. You done? Yep. Okay, Vexus, you hear screaming. <sighs> combat! Combat! Yeah. And then, uh, let me just. Okay, he's 65 Are... feet away. Yeah, is anyone carrying a light source this far away? Just out of curiosity. Of like Uglid or Sova. Anyone carrying a light source? I don't know, okay, so you can't even see it. You can hear the guy screaming, but you can't actually see what's going on down okay. there. Okay, then I'll run another 30 feet. Okay, down here. and now you can see this watery creature standing there. But that's your turn. Lothus. <clears throat> it's a huge watery creature, just so you know. Um, well, I guess same thing, right? You can't see shit, so... Nicely done. Uglet. Right, so we it's too dark to see, right? Well, you can uh, see I mean, again, no one's carrying any light sources, correct? Lothus doesn't have a light source? Guess not, eh? None of us do. Correct, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just move to the other side of the bridge. <laughs> That'll be it. Uh, the one guy left on the bridge. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it's not gonna attack me. Okay, that's me. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna swim away. I'm going to move. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna move to here. Um. And it's going to stand on top of you. So, uh, this ability is called Whelm. 
Each creature in my space. Uh, make a saving throw. A DC, a strength saving throw. Sova. But not one. <laughs> awesome. Anyone? Anyone do anything about that? I can't even see them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, on a failure, take uh, you take thirteen bludgeoning damage. You are you have a grappled condition. Uh, you are restrained. And unable to breathe. Restrained is a condition. You need to look that up. Restrained creature speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. The creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So anyway, you can you have the restrained condition. Uh, you cannot breathe. You're basically drowning, effectively. Well, not drowning yet, but you know uh, for a number of rounds, right? Um, and basically, it can absorb you. So you get sucked into this creature's mass. And as I continue to move, um, you get carried with it. So just so you know. Uh, da, 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 da. OK, so I can move again. So it picks you up. It basically, so just to cover this off, just to explain this better to the group. So that's 20 feet of movement. And then this is, oops, Nick did it move it again. Another 25. Boom. So it does that. So it picks you up. So you get dragged with it, sucked into it, dragged with it there. And uh, Lothus and Kusa also can make strength checks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Kusa, same thing for you. You take 13 points of damage. You're sucked up into Jesus. it. Okay. Uh, and considered restraint. Oh, this, this is it. I think everyone's mm -hmm. done. Sova, Sova. Oh no, not Sova. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Lotus. Lotus. Oh yeah, shit. <clears throat> Strength. Oh, not one. <laughs> not one again. Okay. Sucked up into it. Thirteen points of damage. Um, yeah. So interesting enough, mm. uh, when it sucks up Lotus, it has to drop Sova. So Sova gets spit out on the side here. Let's put it right there. Um, yeah, it can only contain so many people, although it can suck you up and spit other people out. So I can run over the, if the group lines up in a giant long circle, I can suck up and spit out people, but I can only hold from one round to the next round, two people, two medium creatures. So there you go. There's a limitation for you guys. So just 13 dead, it would kill me and bet immediately, right? Yeah, oh, that's not a good situation. Larger at the start of each elemental's turn. Da, 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 da. Feeling pretty safe up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm running away. Okay, so, well, to be fair to you, Nathan, so, uh, are you standing, Vex is just standing there. You think, these guys are just basically swimming in water, but the water's spinning, right? So for them, it's hard for them to get any momentum. You know how, like, it's like they're, they're going against the tide? But you actually think there's a fair chance you could grab them and try to pull somebody out. Just okay. so you know. Uh, so... That is Kelsier. Uh, they're definitely in trouble. They are for real, for real, in trouble right now. Yeah. OK. Um, uh, uh, can I see him from here? Yep. I'm sure you can. I think that's about 60 feet. What the fuck? Okay. Why'd you go up in the <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot him with my bow, I guess. Yeah, well, you broke my fucking game because you yeah, stand on yeah. I also yeah. did not see anything. <laughs> Why are you retarded, Julian? What happened? Still calculating movement. Yeah, I only moved for a little bit. I think I just yeah. messed up. Yeah, don't do that again. Let me know when you roll. Okay. Um. Because now I can't even grab my character. Yeah, and just, for, just wait a minute. Don't, oh, don't, I got don't him. I got him. Yeah, just don't give it a minute. Shit. Just give it a minute. Just wait. A minute? Okay. He's at forty-five now, so he's moved almost all the way down. Okay, and I should have advantage on this, these guys because they're like uh, five within feet, five feet, hours, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. It would just... uh, hits, uh, and then I get to do a sneak attack. So. Yeah, you can stack all your damage up, and then I'm gonna half it. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that D four? Wait, how do you get nine sneak attack damage? 
It's 2d6. Oh, shit. So, uh... I did... What is that? So you did a total of uh, 13 and 9 is 22, 11 damage. Okay. Okay, doke. Uh, Benascus. You hear screams, you hear yelling, you hear oh shit. Yeah. You hear Vexus say, I'm getting out of here. Good. I'm glad you heard that. I'm going to... Actually... Which way should I get out here? Because actually, you, you know what? I'm going to run... Yeah, yeah, I know you can't tell me. Um, my max movement's 30, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move here. Because the way out of the actual cave thing was to the right. You can take the dash, like, the, that's 30 feet? Dash action? Yeah, it's 30 feet. Yeah, or you could... Don't you have, like, the strongest spell here? Like, your three fire bolts? It's a, it's a fire spell. Didn't he say that he was... Is water, water, right? Yeah. Get immunity to poison. I read it all to you. I'm only yeah. reading it once. So, I can, I can, instead of doing an attack, I can move again, right? With the same movement, yes, or no? Yes, that, that's the dash but action. But fi fire is actually effective against him. He's only immune to poison, just by the way. Yeah. Or plays a bunch of die. Moves, that's, but yeah, that, that's cool. No, I'm leaving uh, you to die as well. Fuck off. <laughs> what, what do you want from me? I'm a fucking wizard. I'm not gonna play over the fucking elemental, bro. Yeah, I want you to fucking hit it. Not yeah, I don't give a shit what you want. Feet I don't want to die. I like my character. Okay. We can still kill it. I did, even though my damage was half, so I still did 11 damage. But... Yeah, we can definitely kill it. We just need to I agree. fucking do something instead of taking the dash action closer to the enemy <laughs> all right i'm uh i'm i'm just i'm done by turn. yeah just go down. I, I, i've already ended it yeah okay i've been done for Grand, a go uh so that oh what is it immune to again he just Great poison poison. Dude. poison it's immune to poison i know but uh, is it not immune to like uh, melee uh, it's probably just take half damage. Running, by the way. Oh, half? Oh. Fire. It, it, oh. Fi fires. I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, well, resistant. I am going to attack the beast. Okay, you do uh, think you can pull your friends out of it? I'm just saying. You think you could pull yeah, your friends what out of this? What a waste screen. of a fucking turn. Because the next turn, it, 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 it's her turn again. It'll just fucking pick them back up. So don't do that. <laughs> That's stupid. Wait, does it do damage? Yes, yeah, 13 damage. damage. So. And there's no rule apparently. So. HP between you two. I have 15 health. And how so much does Lopez? You have? shouldn't, like, you. I can't really. T I shouldn't tell you that kind of shit. Yeah. He would die if he got picked up again. Uh, okay, so, well, I am going so to... I'm going to tell you guys right now. Just from, I'm going to tell you guys right now. If he remains in there, it's the same as if he gets picked up every single round. Yeah. So he's dead next turn, anyways. So like you might want to reach in there. I mean, you I don't know, and then he can run away. Yeah, pick or attack, Lotus. or heal, or there's 50 things he could do. He can still heal inside. Don't. He just he yeah. just can't move. He's restrained. He can still attack and and heal and shit. Yeah. So I'll uh, go in and grab a Lopez. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. He can like heal Jeremy. Okay. Okay. I I I can tank another round. I'm fine. Yeah. So you pull him out. Let's pull all this yeah. guy from the side. Lotus pops out here. Put this guy yeah, back. Yeah. Can I attack okay. at the same time? Or... You cannot. It's, it's your action. You can move. You have a move action if you want to move, like you want to go to the other side or whatever, but you cannot. Uh... Nathan, can you roll me 1d3? Uh... Actually, I'll move up just a tiny bit. Uh, Thank you. One, so I'll take two, half. Two, That's fine. Four, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you're good. You're happy. Done. So. Yeah. Okay, Kusa. Well, um, all I can do, I'm gonna mark this guy as my favorite foe. I'm also gonna mark him with Slayer's Prey to get 1d4, 1d6 extra damage. And I'm gonna swing him with a dagger. It hits. Uh, he takes five piercing from that. Is there extra damage he takes? Uh, yep. That, and then... Six damage so far. Anything else? And the 1d6. Holy fuck! <laughs> Seven damage, which Ooh. is halved is three. The last okay. one doesn't even matter. So unlucky. That was awful rolling. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, Vexus, what do you do? 
Uh, uh, oh, I should make you make a strength check. My bad, by the way. To pull this guy out does require a strength check next time for anyone else doing it. Yeah, I, I figured. So who would have made it? He's fucking... He's buff. Move to there, and... Well... I could cast Firebolt, I suppose. So wait, is it, is it a humanoid? No. Oh, yeah. Then I guess uh, I cast Firebolt. It's an elemental. I know, but... But I ask... Two damage. There you go. You happy now, Jeremy? I did my part. Yeah. yeah, so let me just double check it, because I think... All of that goes through. Full damage you deal to him. Boom. You do almost as much damage well, as the justice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Uh, Lothus. I think Lothus would drop some sort of heal. Doesn't he have like an area heal? No. Okay. He heals himself because he's probably beat to fuck. Yeah. Cure wounds as a second level spell. Only two for the, the second. Wow. So nine nine HP. That's so really the, bad. He'll take the nine HP though. That's uh. Then he can heal his buddy next turn if he can reach in there or pull his buddy well, out. Just wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Healing words of both. I could heal again actually this turn. Uh, I'll heal Kusa as well with this one. But even okay. So I love. Be fair to Kusa. I'm going. So it's easy, but I'm going to make you roll a touch attack to heal Kusa. Because he's swirling um, around inside this thing inside no, of 10 it's, feet. it's right? not a touch. Oh, you don't have to touch? Perfect, no. then. No problem. Then you can heal Kusa. I posted... Oh, no, I didn't post. There we go. Healing word. 60 feet. Target any creature of your choice. Yep, okay. That you can see. No problem. Done. Yeah. That to negates the issue entirely. I know, I know. So Kusa got 7 feet. points of healing? No, I got 7. He got 9. Oh, Kusa, oh. there you go. 9 hit points. Epic. Okay, uh, the Uglet. Uh, all right, well, I hear some screams, so I'll just uh, go over and, and am I allowed to just like run right into it? Yep. Like get captured? No, but dude, oh. you'll drown, bro. Uh, uh, y yes, technically, it can't stop you from being sucked into it. That's true. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's right, also bludgeoning damage, yeah. I run directly consider? into it. Like, yeah, here, boy, boys, I have a plan. Pull him out, and I'll, I'll fuck it up. So you're 50 moved to run into it, right? So you don't have any other actions, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, he, no. he, he said it for us to pull him out. Oh, sure. So, to pull uh, Kuza out or whatever. So you just run into it. That's it. You're done, right? Yep. Okay, Kamikaze. Uh, you take... Uh, plus four. So I will roll for Kusa first. Kusa takes this plus four. So 19 damage. Holy fuck. And you take uh, I've let, uh, 10 damage. Is, is it bludgeoning or drowning? Uh, it is magical for starters, just for what it's worth. So, so just for DR. Just the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> just for DR purposes. And let me just see. Uh, just reading. Constriction damage, whatever the fuck that is, it, you're being constricted. I'll call it bludgeoning. Does that help you if it's magical bludgeoning? Yeah. Okay. So it's a constriction damage, but I would describe it typically. Anything constricting you is bludgeoning, right? It's blunt force. So, okay, so that all happens automatically. It's not an action for it. This is just you're in it, that happens. Then it uh, is angry. Uh, it wasn't done with Sova, so it slams Sova. It uses its slam attack on Sova. So oh, this is... Uh, do, 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 this... Sova, what's your AC? Uh, let me check. I think it's 21. Oh. Yeah, it's oh. 21. Okay, it misses you. It bounces off your armor. This would have hit just about anybody else in the party. I'm just letting you know. It uh, wasn't a narrow miss on you, but uh, for everybody else. And you narrowly avert taking even more damage. Uh, on to Kelsier's turn. Okay, I'll use steady aim. And uh, shoot Does, it. Doesn't that just give you advantage? Oh, yeah. It's a complete know. waste. I already have advantage. Yeah, so it's the problem with rogues is they have like eight things to give them advantage. And it's, it's all useless after the first one. So you, uh, you could yeah, move. I guess I don't need, You're I don't better need off to moving than yeah. using steady aim. 
Yeah, I'll just attack him. I'll tell you, I, I should. I, I want to stop helping people though, because you guys need to make your own decisions. I just, it hurts me sometimes looking at the things you guys do. It's uh, is that it? He's doing extra damage. Twenty take and then take attack. Yeah. Nice. Seven. So fourteen. Yeah. So uh, you know, not all of it goes through. Blah 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 blah. You guys are familiar with that. Yeah. You definitely then, hit it. Then I'm going to. Uh, go up here. Yeah. Um, Benuscus. I'm gonna cast Firebolt and then I'm gonna move. Um, so that's my Firebolt Smart. on the dude. Yeah, it hits. And then I'm moving. All of it goes through. Oh, right. He, um, there. Roll your um your important things, man. So this is sure. The portents are 2d20, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, uh, Sova. Okay, I'm going to grab Jeremy out, and then I'm going to move Kusa. back a few steps. Kusa. Which, which Kusa, oh, yeah. Kusa? Okay. Kusa, Kusa pops out there. Bam. And then you move back. Sure, go ahead. Is that a withdraw? Oh yeah, you, uh, yeah, you get opportunity attacked. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Think, Graham. Oh, I don't, I didn't. We know should that. have sold the plate armor. We should have sold it straight up. Too late now. I know. That's just saved him from getting smacked. What was your AC before you had that plate armor? Uh, it was sixteen. Oh, yeah, you would have got crushed. Wow. Yeah, you would have crushed there. How many hit points you got left? I have eighteen. I think. Yeah, you'd have been. Uh, I mean, I've rolled 18, so I, that's a high roll for me, but it's possible you could have been knocked unconscious in that hit. You have 18 left currently? You have 18 more hit points? Yes. Took some damage, right? Yes. Okay, cool. You're good? Damage. You're done? Yep. Okay, Kusa, you're out. Sweet freedom. You see your friend um, Ugly swirling around inside of this thing. <laughs> oh, uh, you didn't make a, never mind. Kusa's not necessarily out. Uh, Sova, make a strength check. I still remember this shit. Okay, he blew Easy. Off. Oh, okay. Kusa, you're there. Your friend Uglet's swirling around inside. Lothus is on one side of this thing. You're on the other side. What are you going to do? Mm. Hmm. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds targeting myself. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Leave the healing to the healers is what I'm thinking. I'm just going to say that. But... Wait, wait, is that but, it? But, 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 <laughs> don't you get like a, like a wisdom uh, modifier? Not for him. He's using some sort of ability. Yeah, no. Twice you still a day. If you cast your wounds, like, you get your wisdom. Like you 1D8. have, you have zero wisdom. He's not a cleric. Yeah. I, I, that that yeah, doesn't I, matter. I, 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 I have zero cleric. wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kusi, you done? Well, you know what? I have big balls. I'm gonna fucking move thirty feet to here and take the opportunity attack. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Opportunity attack you. What's your fuck. AC? <laughs> 17. Yeah, it hits you. You take. You're, you're out of the way, but you take 8 damage. That's 9 down. Then why would you okay. run, bro? Vexus. If you wait, Lothus' turn is after. Uh, the, oh, that's okay. Whatever. Uh, I will also cast Firebolt. Um. One more time. Uh, it's four yeah. or five damage. And then I'm dipping. Oh, no, is, that, is it five damage? It's not five damage. It hits no, for it's three, three right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, then what are you doing? Anything else? You're moving? Uh, I left, yeah. Okay. That's All right. Lothus. Alrighty. Uh, what's his strength? What's Lothus' strength? Uh, 14. Plus yeah, two. you're not going to bother. Uh, he can heal some more, maybe. What does he got for left for heal heals? Who? I have two. I have a bunch of spells left. So I do something good. Do some healing. Help somebody out. But like, why? Like, who's even low here? I can't see shit. Actually, I could heal. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm not gonna heal. Well, 
How's this a little bit hurt? Uh, I, it's a waste. Like I'm gonna die if I don't if we don't kill this thing. I'm just gonna drown. Or we're all gonna fucking die. We'll drown. I'm gonna mace Bye. attack attack the uh, the elemental, and then uh, my bonus action I'll cast. Uh, what the fuck's it called? Hits. Healing word just, as a second level damage. spell on Kusa. Uh, you have six health. There you go, Kusa. Congrats. Oh, did you, did you. you record that? There you go. Uglet. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. So, here, just a quick question. Yeah. So, so this thing's made out of... <clears throat> sorry, made out of water, right? Yes. So, if I use an electrical ability that was like an area attack, would it still spread out, or would it be condensed in the creature? You are going to take the same... Every creature inside of it at the time will take the same damage. <laughs> Wait, electrical attack? What are you? What are you doing? Literal, literal kamikaze. I'm doing it. Fuck it. Wait, but, thunder wave. How do you have thunder wave? Just got it. Uh, he's an eldritch knight. Oh yeah, he's an eldritch knight. Okay, so it hits, and so you take nine damage. It takes nine damage. Perfect. It's not vulnerable to that too. It, it, all of it goes through. Yeah, that's not nice. vulnerable. So you see this thing go, and you see him ugly shake and, and spasm and. Okay, its turn. Uh, it automatically does uh, 15 points of damage to you. Well, Thunder so, Wave, wouldn't that hit Lothus and Graham? No, it's inside of it. in the creature. Everything inside of it. Okay. So just, yeah. um, So are you still conscious, ugly? Nope. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So it does that, and it's going to slam. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Both of us do diddly. It can't actually absorb you for a couple rounds. It's going to slam. It's intelligence. Oh, five. Yeah. Um, it's going to slam Sova again. That's just the what it's going to do. Okay, it hits. Oh, yeah. Sova takes uh, 13 damage. And on to uh, Kelsier. Yep, yeah, I will shoot it. My bow. Hits. 12, 6. And then I'll move up here. Okay. Yeah. Benoscus. I cast Firebolt. On okay. the thing. Why not cast the Just wait a, a sec. Wait a sec. Oh. Are you within 60 feet of it? Um, yes, you are. And actually, so is Vexus currently. Okay, that's cool. No, I'm good. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and after I cast my Firebolt, I move. That all goes through. This you, guys, you guys are absolutely, just, just so you know, your fire spells are absolutely tranching this thing compared to what everyone else is doing, right? You guys yeah. are the DPS for the party right now. So their only hope. Is the two of you keep pummeling this thing? Nah, I think Uglet's the DPS of the party. That was an insane play. For real. Just my Japanese blood. You're not Japanese, Jacob. Stop being a no, fucking weed. The, the, the kamikaze running at you. anime, bro. <laughs> Dova. Uh, Jacob is painted. Yeah, pull. <laughs> yeah. So... Carry me. Please help him. I should help him? I was gonna attack. He could. Isn't he dead right now? Already? He's not dead, he's unconscious, Graham. Pay the fuck attention, bro. God. Why are you like this? It's the same thing right now, though. No, it's not the same thing in, in any regard. It's not even close to the same thing. So, what are you doing? Silva? I want to attack it, but it seems like... Then, no, no, then, then attack it. Then attack it. It's up to you. Then they, it actually doesn't matter. Even if you pull out, it doesn't matter. I'm going to attack it, yeah. Uh, let me find it. I am going to go into a rage, but then I want to use this. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of spam here. 
Rage, what's Rage do for you now? You have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws, nice. Make melee attacks using strength, you gain a bonus to the damage roll, nice. You have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, nice. If you're able to cast spells, you can't cast them or concentrate them, okay. Your rage lasts for one minute, it ends early if you're knocked unconscious. Once you have rage number times, blah, 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 okay, great. Ancestral starting when you choose your path, at third level. Spectral warriors appear when you enter your rage. While you're raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn becomes the target of the warriors, which hinder its attacks. Until the start of your next turn, the target has disadvantage on any attack roll. It is it against you. Okay. Yeah, better. Attack away. So you hit. Uh, your slashing damage obviously doesn't all go through. That's totally fine. And I'm disadvantaged uh, unless I attack you. Is that correct? Uh, what what's the extra damage you get from your rage? Cause that that was a strength weapon. I think it's plus two. It might be one more. Yeah, figure that out. I'll add the damage. Oh, did I not? I mean, I should probably tell you bad. to like make a roll, right? Roll for bonus damage. No, usually it's fixed. Bonus damage typically is fixed, at least in my experience. So it says you gain a bonus to the damage roll that increases as you gain levels. So it's special for your Barbarian. So what's your Barbarian level? Three? So yes. go look up Barbarian 3 Rage. It'll tell you bonus damage is one or two or whatever it guides up to. Just look at the barbarian class right now. Yeah, it looks like plus two. Rage is yeah, rage damage. At level three it's plus two. Okay, I'll add an additional damage. You're gonna rage all the time. You can actually add your weapon stats in as a raged attack. You can go rage longsword or longsword rage or whatever, right? So that'll make it easier for you to just include it in the roll. Yeah, I know. I just saw that. Yeah, no problem, man. Kusa, what do you do? Um, I'm going to mark the guy with Wick's bow. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to swing. He's still my favorite bow and uh, the other one. Slayer's Prey. So yeah. I still have my... Does that hit? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let me double check though. No, it does not. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I'm gonna move to here. Yeah. Vexus. Okay. Uh, so is this a, a wall? The, yes, the, the, the you're hiding drops. around a corner right now. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't drop it. Then uh, I'll move to here. Yeah. Blacked out. Yep, you um, can see it. Yeah. Cast Firebolt, 7 damage. Hits, all of that goes through. How fucking health does this thing have, bro? <laughs> lots, lots. But you're chewing, I mean, the fact that you guys are, half the guys are doing half damage doesn't help, right? But you're doing a ton to it. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm done. <clears throat> Lothus. Uh, oh, that's also me. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> the old Jacob. Yeah, no shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna hit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit it with a fucking mace, <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast. Um, <laughs> wait, tonight. I, I I gotta use this. I'm gonna say I'm at zero second level. Oh no, I didn't use. Looks like floating around unconscious in there. No, I know that. I'm not an idiot. I cast four, uh, four healing on Uglet. There you go. Uglet, does that uh, get you back to conscious? Of course it does. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, you are conscious, and you realize you're about to go unconscious again if you remain inside of this thing. You can try to escape. Did you go kamikaze again? 
you can kamikaze again too, but it's still going to damage you on its turn, right? So this is, if you kamikaze and you do like nine damage and then it hits you again, you kind of know what its average damage is, right? Can you survive that? Go ahead, minus. Yeah, you won't die. Well, would that, <clears throat> would that just be like electrical damage or like what if I use like a fire-based ability? Then uh, just hit it. I would I... just hit it. Yeah, I would say yes. Fire-based is not going to take anything from that. All right. Well, I'll just use burning hand inside of it. Okay. Cool. You're burning hands away. There's no concentration checks for you to no. be... These are just AoE damaging spells. Uh, okay. Yeah. Five fire damage. I'll take it. That hit... Oh, it's a miss, right? Because you didn't hit the AC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I missed again. Hang on. I think I messed it up. Uh, how many... How many... How many... Is it a cone or is it... Burning hands is like multiple no. rays. Yeah, here. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the same. I was going to say, it's, like, it's no AC check at all. Tips. Each creature in a 15 cone must make a dexterity saving throw. It's denied its dex, and so yeah, are like, you. How, so. how are you going to, like, dodge? <laughs> it, it fails. It auto-fails. Okay, yeah. uh, that's, that's the disadvantage of being inside. A creature takes 3, 6 fire damage on a failed save. Well, it fails. Or half as much on a successful one. Okay, so uh, it takes 3d6 damage. There's no target. There's no... Uh, yeah, there's no... Um, Roll on this. So there's only five damage. That's that is so unlucky. So is that three d six? That three d six is five yeah. damage. Yeah, that yeah. is horrific. But uh, it's okay. Um, you damage it. Its turn. Uh, it does sixteen damage to you. To Jacob. And yeah, I fade out. You Please. fade out. I'm turn to consciousness. Yep. Uh, it's going to slam Sova again, because really Sova's the only one being effective against it close enough. Do I die? Uh, misses. Did you die? No, he's just saying that because he's like, I'm going to die, even though... Yeah, I no, yeah, yeah. Kelsier. No, I missed. I missed you. Okay, it missed uh... you, but it does look like it's sort of starting to pick up its whirlwind speed again. That's the best way I'm going to describe it. Like... You know, it was all real windy when you first saw it, and then it ran over you guys, and then it's not run over you guys again. But it's looking more it's hungry. Windy. It's getting spinny. You can tell that the water swirls, swirling faster and faster and faster. It seems like that. Oh, let's go. Yeah, that's a miss. Oh, oh you're a yeah, you have the magic. Yeah. yeah, that that hits then. Okay. Just 17, which is 16, which is eight. Okay. Eight damage, not bad. Yeah, it's still uh, up. I'll just stay where I am. Okay, uh, Benascus. Um, I cast Firebolt. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Are you within 60? Yeah, Sorry. it is. Yeah. It's also, oh yeah, to see it's it. Also, oh, yeah, it is. It's 120. Yeah, it yeah, it's, doesn't matter because you can't see it. You can only target what you can see, but you can see with, uh, <clears throat> so you're good. Yeah. 11, oh, does it hit? Uh, no, it does not. It's not, not Unfortunately. Yeah, really uh, Sova. That will be a hit, and nice. that's 13 damage. So it's really 12, at six is... Uh... It also has disadvantage on, it, on its rules, by the way. Against Jacob, it would have, yeah. Yeah, it missed yeah. anyway. But thank you, I appreciate yeah. that. And uh, it's disadvantaged against Sova? I thought it had to attack him, or it was disadvantaged. No, no, not against Sova, against Jacob, but it, I, don't, I don't think it was even a roll. It was just like... Or did, no. Did you roll uh, Jake, sorry, um, Uglet oh. there is being constricted inside automatically. It's not an attack. Yeah, it's automatic. Yeah, yeah. Every turn, everyone is inside of it on its turn, takes that damage. Uh, so then Vexus? Did I skip Kusa? Kusa, you didn't go, yeah. did you? Sorry, no, I accidentally skipped you. Go ahead. Uh, well, Wixbow... Can I hit this time? Uh, yep. Yeah. Four. Okay. Takes that two. Is that additional damage? Yeah. Those are both additional. Oh, Max. Nice. Oh. This, this, this so it takes for you. Battle 14. So I already recorded five. So it takes an additional 10, okay. which is another five. Still up. 
Lothus. Does it look injured at all, or it's just like looks exactly? It's, it's water. It's a giant swirling water, and when it dies, it's going to just basically the it's same amount of water water. will exist, and it'll dissolve to the ground. Like it'll just like boom. Yeah. Right? Okay. So it looks exactly the same at one hit point as it does at one hundred. Hey Ben, do you have those spell slots to cast your big fire beam? I do. Okay. Uh, I'm, two... I'm gonna hit it with a mace and then cast another. You mean Lothus is gonna hit with mace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Vexus. Oh, I see them right there. Right, it's Vexus in the chat. He misses, and he heals. So he heals Uglet for six. Correct. Does that make Uglet conscious? I don't think so. Yes, it does. No. Because it gets set. It gets set to well, zero whenever you become yeah, unconscious. There is no negative. And then it's negative him. after that. He will heal. It oh. Point. He'll he'll still get up. Oh, I didn't realize he doesn't go negative. No. So to kill someone outright, you you have to either make them fail three death saving throws, or um, do double their double their like do their max health. I can do hundred points death. of damage to Uglet now. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. That would insta kill uh, because no, it, that's it's an insta -kill over because it's I just, twice I just said that. max yeah. health. That's what I just said. If yeah. it's twice, like if an attack is twice your max health, then it will just insta kill you. Not twice. Okay. It, so if, if I it, did if it hits your uh, max twenty-five health, damage to him, damage. he's fine. One hit point of healing covers the back. Correct, but but if you, okay, if you cool. heal his full health, uh, ugly. you're conscious again. Yeah. Uh, right. What was it again? What was what? My connection has been interrupted. Bro. Is that correct? Yeah. Or no, uh, 9 because he got in at 20. 9 plus 8. Oh, 9. 16. 16. Sorry. 17. I see 9 yeah. and 4. That's what I see. Oh, fuck. I'm stupid. Yeah. yeah, 13. Okay, so 13 is 12, halved is 6, right? Yeah. Boom. You kill it. So you drop to the ground, and its water just washes off over you, and landing right on top of you, Uglet, is a ring. Ooh. My precious. Indeed, my precious. Ooh. That's good, because it would have, like, knocked you unconscious again, and I had a charge all spooled up. I was going to charge. I was going to, like, charge everybody. Okay. Uh, does anyone have the ability to identify the ring? Uh, <clears throat> Nathan has the glasses. Or the goggles. Yeah. Uh, they're not been used today. Do you want to use them? Yeah. I'll see if it's magical or whatever. It is a magical ring. Okay. <clears throat> What's the uh, the name? Actually, let me just quickly. Oh, I don't have a description for the goggles. But yeah, I'll use them. It has, uh, what, three charges? Or one charge or some shit? I know it casts Identify. Did, did my internet die again? Nope. No. Okay. So I'm just copying the ring information. It is this right here. I'll post it to chat for everybody. And you guys can figure out if Lothus gets it or not. Sure, yeah, I mean, he said next magical item, or you said next magical item, whatever. No, I'm, I'm just teasing. It's not really a Lothus item. He was just like, you know, next piece of armor or something. Well, it, I mean, I don't fucking want it. <laughs> Would anyone else like this ring? I'll take it. Who's that? Which character? Uh, Kelsier. Wait, what is so, it? Did, yeah. we just, did we see what it was? Yeah, yeah look in Discord. Dexterity saving oh, it's in Discord. Wearing it. yeah. It's a reaction to, to survive. So... Yeah, you you already have really high dex. I think we all do, and it, and it's rare. We could sell it and split the gold. Or is it required attunement to mean? So you got wear it for day four yeah. works. And then you only have three so you, slots. You have to have it on, and it, it then it uh, it would long rest, and it's it's attuned to you basically. So, is no one wants it because Losis will take it then. 
I'll take it. He just, he'll shoot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. So roll a d10. Whoever gets okay. higher gets to get the ring. One d10 versus me. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. god. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, what <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes, man. That's how the cookie crumbles. Uh, there you go, man. Run fair and square. Good for you. All right. There you guys go. Easy peasy, right? Easy combats. Yeah, that was pretty easy. easy. We were edging fucking Jacob on. Yeah. <laughs> we were what? At least had curves. That's all that we, matters. We were edging Jacob's unconsciousness. Yeah, it was close. So. Anyway, uh, what do you guys do next? Sleep. Yeah. Rest again. You can rest here. Where are you gonna rest? Yeah, yeah. I'm still at max HP, so I'm going to go back to uh, picking the lock, maybe. Okay. So everyone's resting and you're picking a lock by yourself? Oh, right. or so, or so, so we're staying here? No? I know, I'm going to bed, dude. Well, you have some, like, uh, elven bullshit or whatever, right? You sleep like... Oh, Ben, get the fuck away. Don't... Why would you do that? Don't go over there. <laughs> uh, He doesn't have trance because he's a half-elf. I thought you were the half-elf. Okay. No, I, I yeah, I'm full elf. Hmm. Oh, you just picked the lock by yourself? <laughs> I mean, no, nah, no. Nah. It leaves you a little bit unaware of your surroundings. Is all I'm gonna say. No, no, no. I'm not gonna take the risk. Okay, you guys all rest up. I'll have it's my, uh. At, at night times, I'll have my owl perched like here. Yeah, it is an uneventful evening. So you all wake up, all rested. I'm sure you have to watch order, blah, 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 blah. We'll cover that off. Typical watch order. So, uh, what do you guys do? Um, Easy claps. We'll pick the lock. And okay. then the other crew can go back to being explorers. Said so that there's like a, like, it's like a puzzle key to pick it. And that there was something in this Moving place to tell you, roll tell 1D, you the puzzle. Roll 1d24. Oh, 1d20, I mean. Who, me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, six hours of effort in total, and you finally get this portcullis thing to suddenly lift up. You're not oh, even actually sure how you did it. You've been doing these fucking combos so long. So we can go portcullis, inside now. Portcullis opens up. There's a stairwell down. Okay, Uglet. Uglet? I have to. Go, our brave meat shield. All right, we go. We go in. Is it a new map or it looks like there's pieces and other stuff still? Punchy. I can just get the map sorted out here. Ba, 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 ba. Plus, Julian, you slept with, with the ring. Oh, Ben, roll your new uh, important rules. This is true. Oh, I got four and one, so I, I can just fuck somebody over. <laughs> you hit on a teammate. And I got 19 and three. That, the, like, that there is almost Damn. a perfect roll. Yeah. <laughs> but I only need two more days. And then I'm attuned. No, no, you're already in tune. You're in tune. Okay. That is. We've just the map layer. Layer. Map layer. And I'm going to. So, um, you guys go down the portcullis. There is, let me just drag the map to here, make sure the grid works out. I'm just going to reveal the entire room to you guys, because, yeah, when you get down there, you'll be able to see it all. So, oh. uh, you're going to come in, you see the map? Yes. You're going to come in here at this portcullis, which is opened. It opened with the one upstairs. And there is a 
a pit size room with a set of double doors on the other side and uh, four statues of fighters. This looks like some ruins from an ancient old city back in the day, you know, almost before time. And on the left and right side of you, about uh, 15 feet in the air, you can see that there's like an upper platform where people could walk around. And it kind of slowly, as it gets up here, it kind of ramps down. Does that make sense? And this place, you can see, actually, everyone can make a perception check. Hello. Uh, Okay, so Kelsier and Vexus both notice substantial markings on the wall. So this area is quite cool, uh, abnormally cool. Um, and you see substantial markings on the walls as though uh, many, many battles have been fought here. Um, well, so, that's pretty yeah. obvious, just from looking at the room. Look, it looks yeah. like an arena. Yeah. Yeah. So if this slopes down, is it is it easier to climb here? Uh, my pings are really fast. But... So, Sorry, so did it get how high and how hard? Here are these as opposed to here. If I was to climb this. Yeah, here. this is about 15 feet in height, this little le ledge the whole here thing. to here. Yeah, 15 feet straight up. And it looks quite difficult to climb, quite but, honestly. What about the statues? They look like they're statues detailed. are about 15 feet in height. Yeah, but like, are they easy to climb? They look detailed. Oh, um, they're easier to climb than the walls. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'll post up and climb one of the statues. Yeah, so let's just wander into the room. So you basically, you guys enter into the port, call us. Maybe we should roll for There's a like quick. a trap. Yeah, I got to update my, uh, you can see where you line up. So just ignore the other squares, I guess is the best thing to do. So, um, yeah, so let's just put each other in initiative order so I can get some like clarity as to who's doing what and when, if that's okay. Okay, so um, you're in initiative order. Um, I'm just going to sort this. Let me just do this correctly. Descending. Uh, Kelsier, what do you do first? Uh, I'm going to go to this statue and yeah. inspect it. Okay, hey, perfect. You get there. And uh, what, was your, what was your perception earlier? You had 19, I think. Yeah, perfect. You get there, and a figure uh, pops out from behind the statue here. Do, 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 do. And let me just give you a guy. I'll post a better picture of him in um, chat for everyone's benefit. <clears throat> this is more for images, so don't get too hung up on the name or nothing. Oh, yeah. that didn't work for shit. How come I didn't? Can you guys click on that thing and take a look yeah. at it? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Dual sword wielding warrior. Yeah. Yeah, it's, there's a dual sword wielding warrior, and I just went like, image shopping. So, again, yeah, he's definitely uh, as you're an elf, right? Or half elf? Yeah, half so, elf. So, right out of the gate, you know he's a drow. Uh, so he's a drow, dual wielding warrior. Again, don't get hung up with the name too much, but. Yeah. And where do you pop up? Like right here? So, yeah, I'm just grabbing a fig for him right now. And uh, I'm going to. Oh, I can't use those. That sucks. I'm trying to get a cool image for him. No cool images.
<laughs> what, Joe, open my streaks? No, uh, I, I just, I, I read a meme and it's a guy lying on the ground. It's just captioned, I have so much ass hair that my diarrhea comes out as filtered drinking water. Yeah, yeah. It's a <laughs> classic. Oh, nice streaks, Nathan. So he appears there. I might just change the oh, okay. maps. Uh, just let me see if I can make the the grid look better. Bear with me two seconds here. Background color. Let's go white. Grid style square. Color. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. I know it was double black lines. Sorry, guys. So I didn't get time to line the map up because I didn't think he'd actually bother messing around to get through this thing. But anyway, there you go. So, uh, dude is there. And I'm going to roll for him. To do. Okay. I mean, so let me tell you something. I don't know what they call that stuff. But that's like Jeremy, turn your fucking mic off. Serving me. You motherfucker, my phone was way louder than I thought it was. Yeah, I don't care, dumbass. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm not. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to also see another guy. <laughs> Up here? And another guy? All over here. Do you see them all? Yes. Yep. Yes. So let me just fix <coughs> getting these guys on the thing so I don't ruin nothing for you. Are they friendly? <laughs> yep. We come in the, peace. The dual sword wielding drow is friendly. Trust. There's a guy with some magic ball in his hand. Who's kids? Yeah, what? this is an awesome start to the combat. I don't think they're friendly guys. Combat. <laughs> I'll speak in Elvish to them. Draw like kind of elves, right? What are they called? J They're like dark elves or some shit. I think. They are like dark elves, yeah. That's a good way of describing them. But I don't think that they speak uh, elvish. <laughs> Probably common. I was thinking of climbing up here to get like vantage with my bow. They're already up there. They're fucking head glitching us, bro. <laughs> this is. But I play Counter Strike, so this is something really. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I just gotta read real quick there. Did I just fuck this up? I did. What a numpty. What a numpty. That's, that's a right. Let me go back. I had it all lined up. This one right here. Bam. You know, you know what, Julian? Your ring's actually not that bad because if you do shit like, you know, you climb the fucking the statue or you go, yeah. you know, go across a bridge or whatever, you could choose to, to succeed in that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here's initiative. Uh, as soon as this guy realizes you spotted them, he acts. Technically, I'll just leave in the other initiative order. So, uh, 
this guy, what's he going to do? He's going to... Um, Which one's draw W? Draw W the one up is the, right. the top one, draw A is the left, and draw is the right. You no, can't, can't uh, draw it. W is this guy on the right. What? And then this is draw, and this is draw A. Should have oh, done draw M. Yeah. yeah, I should have done draw M. I'll do it. I'll fix this right now. One sec. Oh no, I can't fix it. I can't well, rename it. Now we understand. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he casts a spell uh, targeting you, uh, magic missile. Mm -hmm. When you cast a spell using a spell slot a second level or higher, it creates more than one dart. Perfect. That's what I'm going to do. And so the you take. Gram. Uh, no, they're all going to hit Kelsier. They're all targeting Kelsier. No, but he's within 10 feet of him, and, and Graham has that fucking shield, right? Uh, is that that's a good question. Uh, is it uh, considered to be a ranged attack? Is it a, a missile? Dart, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, just make it a ranged spell attack. You create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. A dart deals 1d4 damage to its target. All darts strike simultaneously, and you can direct them to hit one or several creatures. Oh. Uh, so you're actually going to get an additional dart. So that's one more dart, so you'll get four. So um, I agree with that, actually. So who has the shield? Sova? Um, it's not. Yeah. yeah, but it'll it'll say make a like so. See my firebolt. It says make a ranged yeah. spell attack. Magic missiles is, is one of the only spells in the game that's ranged. But and there's no saving throw rules. You get hit. There's no spell attack. It auto it's and, auto hits. And, yeah, auto hits. So yeah, so it is actually four d four. Is it plus four or is it plus one, Nathan? One d four plus one for each dart. Yeah, so it's plus four. Yes. So you take uh, eight, uh, fourteen plus four, you take 18 damage as four darts slam into you, Sova. Um, so and I don't know, is this going to... No, it's Kelsey. Yeah. It would hit, it would hit uh, Julian. No, he has a shield, you said. Yeah, but they're, they're not ranged too. attacks. Oh, so, that's what so, I was stuck. I think you're making that argument. Uh, I they're was, and I've been wrong. Quiet, then let me run my game, because I was doing it right, and I just didn't argue with you. Yeah, so I, then I, I know, all of these things hit, uh, all these things hit Kelsey. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. How much damage? 18? 18. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, and he's also going to move back. So he's going to then go... Uh, da, da, I can move to here. He's going to move back to there. And you hear cheers. Uh, um, you hear this uh, fake crowd. And the, the, it's like sounds come from the... Um, so cut sounds come from the four statues in the corners as though a crowd is cheering and clapping in excitement. Uh, Kelsier, uh, back to you. So you kind of get interrupted, but back to you. So you've done a bit of movement, your movement counts against you, but you actually get your full actions. Uh, I guess I'll shoot this guy over here. Oh, I already moved, right? So you got movement left because I interrupted your movement. <clears throat> but I already moved, so I can't use steady aim. Oh yes, that's true. Um, but I have uh, assassinate though, because this guy hasn't taken his turn yet. I get advantage on. Uh, that does not hit him. Okay. So. Then I'm going to crawl behind the statue here. Yeah. You don't have complete cover, just for what it's worth. Vexus. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I will move to here. Yeah. Uh, in the doorway. Yeah. Like, as far back as I can, so that these guys have a hard time seeing me. I'll shoot this one. Firebolt. So if you can see them, they can see you with the same stuff, right? So yeah, it works I, both ways. I know. I just said. Okay. What I said. Firebolt. Two damage. Uh, 
warrior. Okay, it hits. He takes two damage. Let's see what he. That almost one shot me. Uh, Kusa. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna... Okay. I move, I'm gonna move five feet right here. Yeah. And then I'm going to mark this motherfucker with Wick's bow. And with Favored Bow. And with, uh, Slayer's Prey. A uh, wizard? Yeah, the wizard. And I'm just gonna swing with Wick's bow. Is he within sixty feet? Uh, eighty. Eighty is the range on Wick's bow. No, but the, to mark him, it's gotta be within sixty feet. Oh, okay. Then I'll fucking <clears throat> move him right here, and I believe back to corner. Oh wait, yep. yeah, I... yeah. Okay, okay. In that case, I should have looked closer. I can move back here, and I'm still within 60 feet for the marks. Oh, yeah, you just have to move a bit more. That's no problem. Okay. So he's marked as Slayer's Prey and Wick's Bode, and you shoot him. You're given advantage. AC-21 hits him, and he takes a chunk of damage. Okay, it all goes through. And it doesn't look like that. It made him feel very good. Okay, this guy. Boom, boom, boom. He charges you. Bam. Comes up to you. So on a thing like multi-attack, is that a full action? It doesn't say it's a full action. It used to be a full action, but it just says you can make multiple attacks. So it's not, it doesn't take... I, don't, I can move and do that? I can move and multi-attack? Nathan? Sorry, Nate? what? Can I move and multi-attack? Yeah, if it's, if it's a class ability, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okie doke. He runs up to you and does two attacks... Yeah, this is going to be a doozy, this one. Um, it has two attacks. Uh, what's your AC? 17. Okay, so he hits with the second attack. And... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, Four, five damage. And uh, you can make a constitution saving throw. Poison damage, drowsily. Poison, I think. Yeah, and so you take... 8 poison damage. Jesus <clears throat> Christ, 16 fails. <laughs> and that... Wait, was that a failed save? Yes, it was a failed save. <laughs> Holy okay, fuck. Okay, Lothus. Oh, that's me as well. Fuck, uh, well... <clears throat> I guess I'll cast the, uh... Duplicate or whatever. The second one. <clears throat> I need healing. We'll mark that guy somehow. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> and yeah. Um, Shadow face. Well, I'll heal Kusa. I think he's gonna die of poison. You're not in the immediate. Yeah. Silver. Uh, with a bonus. No, 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 not silver. With a bonus action, I'll cast. Healing. Whereas, isn't it a fucking bonus to cast this thing? Okay. Oh, you can figure your healing silver can go. Channel, channel. Here we go. Starting at second yeah, level, you can use channel divinity yeah. to create an So, as yeah. a bonus action, I'll cast healing word. Yeah. On Kusa. Nine health. Yeah. Oh. There you go, Kusa. Nine health. Silver. Let's go. Let's okay. go fast. I'm going to move up and attack. Uh, what's his name? Drow. Drow yeah, drow. just drow. Just drow. Yeah. Oh, I do not need to have the rage. Uh, so, uh, you're not advantaged, though, correct? Yeah, no, I'm not. Right? Okay, it's a miss. No problem. Uh, drow. Eh. Nah. 
Do -do -do. Um, who's doing what? Yeah, I think I'll go. Uh, Benascus, roll me uh, D3. 1D3. And I'll roll myself. Never mind. Right. I'm starting at the highest roll. Uh, Kusa, then Uglet, then Banascus. So three is Banascus. So two. So it's Uglet. Perfect. Uglet, you get targeted. Uh, let me just read the stats on this. Uh, okay. So this one here, similar but different. Uh, a bolt comes flying at you, Uglet. What's your AC? Uh, 16. Okay, that hits. And you take, I don't know, was it 1d6 or 1d8? 1d6. You take seven damage, and you make a constitution save. All right. Yeah, you make it. OK. Um, it feels poisony, obviously. Uh, but you take seven damage. Oh, you don't take seven damage. It's not magical. It does nothing to you. The poison oh, would have done yeah. something to you, but uh, this does nothing. So you take nothing. Boom. Uglet, your turn. Be a beast. Save the party here. All right. I'll just rush over to the guy in front of us, and I'll just hit him with two scimitars. Yeah. To play that game. That is... Oh. Are you advantaged at all? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay. So it, it is a miss and a hit. So the second, first one hits. Uh, seven slashing. Okay. Do, do. Yeah. Uh, Benascus. All right. Um, I will do the exact same thing that Vexus has done because that's 200 IQ. Um, I'm going to back up here and then I'm going to fire. Actually, I'll scorching ray this dude. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> um, so let's see. Burn him so down. Missed the first one, right? Yeah. Actually, actually, that's some good damage. I want to use my. Oh, I can't use Portland. Never mind. I take it back. I take it all back. I'll you use Lucky. Sorry. I have not done my. Uh, actually, I could have used Lucky, but that's fine. Uh, next one hits for 12. Yeah. Um, and then my last one hits for 11. I don't think it hit. It 16 is not a hit. Damn. Wow. Okay. Um, so you hit yeah. once for 12? Yeah. Okay. Can you scorch him one time? Yeah. Okay. Um, this guy. He caramba. <coughs> oh, he's in range of Uglet. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Okay. Uglet. Look at that roll. Uglet, you take uh, a bunch of magic missiles come flying at you. And you take uh, 11 damage. Oh, they don't get sucked up. Sucked up? No. I saw a dark up. missile attraction? No, because it's not, uh, it's magic. It's not, uh, it's not, if it was a, if it was a bow or something. Actually, when I did a bow shot at somebody, it could have got sucked up, come to think of it. Uh, who sucks it up? Solo. Yeah, so would uh, that bow have hit you? You ugly wouldn't have made the save then. That's my shot. GM roll. Uh, what was your AC on Sova? One. Yeah. So you would have been hit, exactly. Um, and you would have taken uh, seven damage and made a constitution save. Uh, but this, it, it, you're right in that uh, the magic missiles don't get sucked up. Okay. So then do I take the damage? Yeah, you're going to take seven. You're going to get shot and you're going to make a constitution save. From the archer over here, shot you when he shot at Uglet. You failed your constitution save. Uh, so you keep on, you have resistance to all of this. So this is all getting halved by you, right? So that seven damage got halved, which is three. And the poison is not going to get halved because it's not part of the range damage. It's a poison effect. I got to read this poison because it's different than the other poison. So just let me read it carefully. Okay, you are poisoned. You failed by more than five. What'd you roll again? Sorry, I'm reading the rules. What'd you roll? Ten. Okay, so you did not fail by more than five because you would have dropped unconscious. That's it. 
you're currently you're just poisoned. This is a longer term poison. Um, yeah. Okay. So there you go. Um. So Kelsier. Um. I feel like the scariest guy is the magic guy. I should be able to through. drop him in my next shot, though. Magic guy? Yeah, I, it, it, as long as I hit, but I have, I have advantage. How would okay, you then... know that? <laughs> because I dealt 17 damage to him already, and he's a fucking mage. Yeah. You didn't do 17 damage to him. Yeah. He did not do 17 damage. I recorded on their sheets, so he does not have 17 damage. <laughs> Oh, nine, five, eight. That is seventeen. Nine plus five plus eight. I'm just telling you, he did not take seventeen damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll t can I? I can target him from here, right? Because you said that I'm not completely in cover. Yeah. Yeah, I'll add to your AC for sure. It wouldn't help against magic missile because there's no AC checks with magic missile. But he did magic missile the second time around. Okay, I'll shoot. Uh. That you shoot that? Um, the yeah, the wizard. Yeah. Um, I'm not planning on moving, so I'll use my steady aim. Steady aim, and then... I'll hit. And... He'll take a portion of that. Why is it sneak attack? Oh, it's sneak. Yeah, what's I get sneak? sneak attack on every attack. Oh. Why? Yeah, why? Um, once once per turn, I can deal on a hit with attack if I have a, a advantage on the attack roll. Oh, it's just if you Every have turn. advantage, wow. Yeah. Did you have advantage on the attack roll? Yeah, yeah because I use yeah, steady, steady, steady aim. aim. Oh, nice. So I take 17 from that? Yeah. That drops. Okay. Boom. Done. Nice. So... Uh, that drops us to Vexus. <clears throat> firebolt. Classic good old Firebolt. No. <laughs> My turn's done. Okay, uh, doesn't do diddly. Kusa. Okay, so... I'm going to use my last charge of Slayer's Prey. Targeting uh, Ranger motherfucker. Yeah. And then I'll also mark him with Wixbow because my old target's dead. Yeah. And I'll swing on him, which will activate uh, Favored Bow, I believe. Slayer's Play doesn't have charges. Uh, Your other one does. But... Slayer, Slayer's Prey. Oh, you're right. No, the other one does. It doesn't matter. You don't actually hit. So okay. Him, it's okay. Um, this guy. Hmm, we got cleaned pretty good here. Um, didn't like that at all. Uh, who's focusing on last round? Sova? I think so. Yeah. So he'll do Sova again. Uh, potential critical. Or is it an automatic crit? If it hits, is it 20? Yeah. Okay. So we'll deal with the crit first, because he'll attack somebody else if you drop. So uh, so they'll, those will both be hits, but the crit... Let me just look at my stuff here. Was that a bad roll for you? Uh, so this first weapon... You can make a con save, so... Uh, um, Remember, are you enraged? I uh, know. Oh, okay. Oops, that's the wrong word. So I, I, to so I actually did uh, 11, 15 damage, not uh, the other two got ignored. So you take 15 from the first hit, you fail your constitution save, and so you take an additional poison damage from this primary sword, which I think was 3d6. Yes, it is. So you take an additional um, 11 damage. Does that drop you, by the way? Oh, that's not even critted. That's 20, it's actually doubled. You take 40 damage plus 11 poison. 
Yeah, it's not oh, you're, no, no, you're dead immediately. Like, you're dead, dead. How, how much? How many hit points? What, what's your max health? Uh, 31. What? 31? 21. Yeah. Oh, 31? Okay, he lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if it was 20, 20, 21, you'd be insta killed. Well, actually, were you were you injured before? I I got hit by poison gas. Yeah. Thirty damage. That's it. Okay, so how, how many hit points? HP. Oh, okay, then you're shot. Oh, you're unconscious, but I mean you're not like yeah. dead. <laughs> okay, uh, so he still has an attack left, which I'm going to then direct to Kusa. I'm just going to work in order here. Uh, so his second attack hits Kusa because I don't think you're higher than AC twenty three, are you, Kusa? No. Okay. So you take uh, blah, 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 and d6, six, four. You take nine damage. You make a con check. Yep. Oh, fuck. Fail your con check, and you take an additional 15 poison. I'm dead. Okay, Lotus. Wait, like you're dead, dead? No, I'm not dead, dead. Okay. Just knocked unconscious. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm just rolling like a monster. Look at my I'm in 3d6, right? I rolled 15 out of a possible 18 on 3d6. That's beast mode rolling. That's not. I mean, look at the rolls, right? That's a random number generator kicking your guys' ass there, not me. I'll move him and the clone next to this motherfucker. Uh, and then I will swing. Who's up? Silva's up next. Okay. Uh, I'll swing mace with advantage on this guy. Miss. Uh, I know. Uh, Sova. And then, not Sova. And then oh, I'll use you're rolling? healing word. As oh, yeah. A second level spell on Sova. For the okay. next turn. You have 10 health, Grim. How'd you get 10 health? Because I healed him for 10. <laughs> I, higher level count. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Yeah, that's cool. Sova, your turn. You got 10 health, ma'am. Okay, Rick, roll it. Does it matter if you're prone? You're rolling. You're attacking from prone. Or are you in a stand up? Uh, you were on con. Right? Yeah, I think uh, you can take move action to stand up. Can you not, mate? It's half your movement. Yeah, so there you go. You use half your movement standing up, then you attack. That's the smart thing to do. Yeah. Uh, not draw a. You can't hit draw a. No, you're going to attack the draw, draw w is gone. You're just going to attack draw. Yeah. Yeah, the guy closest to me. Uh, doing that, going to go into a rage. Rage. Are you easier to hit for me oh, when what? you're rich? What do I do? I do it. Are, are you yeah. easier to hit? Does your AC drop when you're raged? Just curious. Um, you're advantaged, right? When you're on this attack. Well, he is anyways, because we're all next. We're, he has um, an ally within five feet or, or whatever. So if that counts, that goes through 14 damage. Making things interesting. Okay, Drowe. Uh, so basically the only guy he can hit in the group, every, shots are getting redirected to Sova. So he loads another poison dart and fires it at Sova. Fuck you, he says. In in drow and misses. It's like under calm. What the fuck is it? under Even dark or under common or some shit? They speak uh, blah, 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 elvish and under common. So. Oh. so he yells, "I fuck you in elvish." So he says, "Because <laughs> I'm sure that's that's an elven word." Uh, Uglet, your turn. All right. Well, I'll just attack the guy in front of me again. Are you advantaged? Yeah. Only his first attack. So your second attack, I don't think can... Fuck, sorry. Is his know. first attack advantaged? Yes. Well, he has an ally within five feet of the enemy, right? Oh, you're always advantaged when you have an ally within five feet? Yeah. Okay, uh, that okay. counts. If, if he's advantaged, if he actually has advantage from having an ally within five feet, then you hit twice. I'm like 99% sure it is. I just don't want to double check. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'll assume it's the case and I take the damage and let me know if I get six. Yeah, and it, back. it was also just your first attack, so I was right about both. Oh no, eight. You can you can eight. 
Okay. Uh, Benescus. Alrighty. Um, I fireball this dude. Firebolt this dude, sorry. Okay. That's dope. That is dope. Uh, Kelsier. I will shoot this guy. My bow. Everyone's picking on one guy. What's going on here? He seems the strongest. He's almost dead or as well, right? He's been hit fucking so much. I'm gonna use steady aim <clears throat> and then shoot him. Oh. Vexus. Okay. Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna cast uh, Firebolt at Drow. Okay. No. Uh, Kusa. Um. <clears throat> That saving throw. Fuck. Okay. You slowly start dying. Um, this guy is going to focus on Sova again. To do attack. That's a miss. Uh, that'll be a hit. Uh. Is eight damage and a constitution save. So I take eight damage, right? Um, yeah, you take three D, you take eight damage. And actually, now you take... it's just uh, uh, he'd take four. He's, he's in rage, doesn't he have uh, resistance against uh, Peter's bludgeoning? Uh, Whatever is. Post rage, post rage. Well, whatever your rage says, if you're, it's, it's uh, this is slashing. I don't think it's piercing, oh, but okay. uh, I'm just gonna double check. You have resistance Pier to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Yeah, it is piercing actually. So there you go. So you take less damage from that, but uh, you take three d six poison. Ten more poison. Okay, so I'm knocked back down. Uh, and he's gonna move. To um, by the way, Uglet, he pays att careful attention to you, and you realize that uh, he's now harder to hit for you. He's gonna move to here. He doesn't care about Lothus. He's gonna move to here. All right, he goes attack by Lothus and by Kusa, but not by Uglet. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's only five feet for sneak attack. What's that mean? Uh, there's no advantage for being having allies around someone. Oh. And there's no flanking, like the like there's nothing at all, in five e. Yeah, misses. Lothus misses. Kusa, you get an attack of opportunity. I'm down. Oh, there you go. So Lothus missed. Uglet Silva's missed because he's down. Lothus missed. So Uglet doesn't get one. So there you go. Uh, so Lothus done. Silva. Lothus went right. Wait, did uh, Lothus go? No. I don't think so. Go ahead, Lothus. Okay, I mean, like, again, you said, like, his, his MO is to, like, use his thing to cast spells, but his only spell that's damaging is fucking Word of Radiance. And it's really shit, and it does nothing. So it's kind of like... Thanks. That's cool, like, play him how he's playing for the party. It's cool. Play him to the best ability of the party. He's a but team player. if he brings this guy in close, and he attacks yeah. this guy, he gets advantage <clears> of <throat> his duplicates within five feet of the enemy. Yep, he does, yep. So I, I think that's his only real DPS option. Ah. Okay, miss, miss, miss. Oh, I'm... Uh, Silva. Yeah. I'm down. Stabilize then. Roll to stabilize. Or die. Uh, how do I do one? That's, that's, that's saving throw, bro. The f constitution save. No. Okay, so I that's... do. Just press, press the death saves button. Yeah. Like, below your HP. Yeah. Oh, you get plus two. Oh. Boom. You're doing fine. Okay. No. Yeah. You have two successes. So mm -hmm. this guy uh, lets loose an arrow. 50%. Uh, it hits the mirror image. The mirror image is now gone. Okay. Archer fired off an arrow to the mirror image. Not Didn't hit Lothus. Um, Uglet. Jeremy, do you still need to be stabilized? Uh, 
Yeah, but if anyone's gonna do that, it would probably be Locust, because he can just cast heal. But, oh, okay. But, yeah, stabilizing wouldn't do shit here. Yeah, I should heal you. Oh, crap. Uh, I'll just move up five feet and hit him twice. Yeah, you can swing at him twice. Okay, you can tell he's much harder for you to hit now, just so you know. All right. Uh, Benascus. I cast Firebolt on Drow. Yeah, just to describe Uglet for your benefit. Much harder to hit. His swords are going in like this flurrying sort of pattern that makes it really hard for you to get your attacks through, and it adds to his armor class, basically. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead, Ben. Yeah. Misses. Nice. Uh, Kelsier. I'll shoot him with my bow. Steady aim. Yeah, that'll hit. And sneak attack. Damn! Jeez. <laughs> Nine and then uh, another 12, is that correct? Yeah. Nine, one. <laughs> one in 400 for the double Wait, and then. Yeah, isn't it double damage too? What rolled the extra damage, right? That's where you got a six plus a three. No. Uh, I just meant. Oh, is that with the twenty? Like when yeah. you're at rolling that twenty? Yeah. Yeah. It only calculates it. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Vexus. I'll cast Firebolt on Still Drow. Alive. Misses. Uh, Kusa. Uh, stabilizing time. Fuck me. Okay. okay. Keep dying. Um, he is going to... So withdraws an action, a full action, correct? Withdraw, you can disengage, yeah. Yeah. But he can withdraw, basically, or whatever, and move back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he'll use the withdraw action and How move back to the... Is... Wait, what? Yeah, you'll see why. He levitates up. You can see as he walks backwards, he can basically walk on the air. He's like a 60-foot fly speed or some shit. <laughs> it's not a fly speed. It's He regularly moves, um, but uh, he has an innate ability to levitate. Okay. Yeah, it's an innate. And he can cast Dancing Lights too, but it's not nearly as exciting. <laughs> Um, it's not a spell. It's, it's they're born with it. It's just oh. naturally gifted. Uh, Lothus. You res me before my third. Shut the so fuck up, Jeremy. I don't want to fucking play my turn. Even though I didn't do it last time, I should have. Yeah. So I, I actually. Have a... Oh, sorry. No, you. you my bad. Oh, I was gonna. So like since the death saves are a death saves aren't um like rolls, would I be would I not be able to use like portent like no. with a high roll? No. no. Okay. It's uh it says actually no no sorry they're saving throws. I guess you could. Yeah, you can only, only use on saving throws attacks, uh or, like skill checks. You have ten health, and then, just I guess that's it. Go Graham. Uh, so like, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll use one of my. I'll use my last um, level two spell slot to cast uh, healing word on Grim level two. There you go. You have thirteen health or eleven. Sorry, start your turn. Okay. So I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to throw my javelin at this guy. That's probably too far. It's I a have 30 foot. A, a 120 feet range. Holy shit! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you go play track and field. Are you advantaged? He's actually oh. disadvantaged. No, I'm not. No. Uh, anyway, uh, 17 ain't gonna do it oh, for this dude. Yeah. So you miss. Um, this guy casts. Uh, darkness on you guys. So I'm just gonna reveal this area. So, um, currently, um, this is what you guys see. 
Did that, did that make the area dark? No. No. Also, oh, are we all in range? Oh, now we can Without... see literally anything. The whole fucking screen. <laughs> this, this is what we see. <laughs> that's just... Uh, yeah. So, that's what you see. Can you even see where your characters are? No, nothing. No. There's nothing at okay, all. Okay, cool. I'll handle your characters for you. So, boom. That's what everyone sees. Uh, wait, wait, so wait, we can all... Even with dark no, 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 hold up, hold up. No, no, it's dark, so you're blinded, we're all blinded. But, we, he hits all of us, we're all in range. Do you put radius? Here, let me just do the space. Uh, one, two... Is this three. magic that's doing Yes, it? yeah, it's magic. everyone's in range. Everyone's in range. Okay, Currently. I'm, I'm gonna move backwards, down. Okay, so you go back, uh, by five feet back, I mean, I count your space. You're just gonna, you can just get um, plus one square, two squares. Just keep track of that. Like, like I'll go to the stairs and climb. Yeah. As soon as you oh. move two stairs, two steps, you're out of the darkness. Okay. So, but anyway, that's that's not your turn. That's ugly. What do you do? Oh yeah. Uh, I guess I'll try to make my way back to the entrance. Okay. Um, do you have any sort of innate sense of direction? They smell, they can smell us, right, Ben and I? Yeah, they, they smell terrible. Fucking no, fuck you. I'm not, I don't have, uh, unfortunately it doesn't work. No? So you can make, you can roll, uh, you can roll a 1d8. I'm going to start in the top left corner and go clockwise. And that's the direction I'll move your character. So go ahead, and you're going to move at half speed in the darkness. So roll right. a 1d8. Okay, so that's you think bad. you're you turned around and you're, you're headed back. How, and you, how, what's your movement? Uh, 25. Okay, so you're going to move 10, 15 spaces. Okay, you've moved as best as you can tell. I'm moving your character for you now. Ben Uskis. Okay. <clears throat> so, isn't there a, am saving, I... a saving throw? I feel like this is really overpowered, no? First, second level spell. No, I know, but isn't there a saving throw? <laughs> There's no saving throws. Magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within a range to fill an area. I'm not going to say what the area is. The darkness spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision cannot see this darkness, and non-magical light cannot illuminate it. Wow. Non-magical light. If the point you choose is an object you're holding, or blah, 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 it can emanate, you can carry it, da, 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 da. If this spell overlaps some other stuff with other spells, this is how it interacts. And there you go. Yeah. Okay. Um so, so I have an idea. I don't yeah. know if this is like gonna work at all. So, am I able to cast Firebolt to light up the area for a second so we can see where he is? <laughs> and if not, am I able to fog cloud us so he can't see us either, even though we are blind? So yeah, no one see anyone. Uh, any kind of magical light will help you see, even if it's for a glimpse. Okay, I want to cast. Firebolt, but I'm going to cast it straight. I'm going to look straight up and cast in the air so I don't hit any of my friends. Yeah, so you kind of try to fire at the ceiling in this middle. Yeah, of the but I, yeah. I don't want to straight up, like, shoot straight up in the sky. I want to shoot it, like, you know, forward but up so that it doesn't hit my friends, but it also can roll, show me, like, ahead of me. Roll percentile, because it went up is relative to you. So roll percentile, I'll give you a 10% chance of not lifting it high enough. 90% chance of lifting it high enough. So 0 to 10 or whatever, 1 to 10. Roll I'll just 100. do, like, a 1d100. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Boom. Everyone sees briefly for a moment. It flashes. Let me just say reveal area. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There you go. So quickly, you see that is where everyone is currently. That's the flash. Does everyone know where they are now? They're good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And then you see that. Gives you a sense of where you are. All right. Okay, that uh, was a good use of a quick flash. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey. Uh, can I just back up a little bit? Yeah. Trying to you get got a of... sense. I mean, you got again because you got your hands on the walls and you got the hand on the t on the on the uh, sorry uh, statue. You have a sense of where you are and you just got a chance to see, right? As opposed to ugly, yeah. got no nothing to give his bearings. So he's like, I'm turning around, but you don't know if that's half a turn, a quarter turn, you know, right? So you've got a sense that you can grab something and go, okay, I'm kind of 90 ish degrees to that. No problem. And then what kind of direction are you hoping to move? Uh, like backwards towards the, the entrance. Okay, towards the door? Yeah. yeah. 
So uh, roll uh, a percentile, 50%. So you move the direction you think it's back towards the door and you end up running into some rock. You can literally feel the rock against the wall and you know you're off a bit. And by the curvature of the rock, you know the door is more to your right than the kind of like you just weren't quite on. So you follow that just so you know along the rock wall. So just to help you figure that out afterwards. And what's your movement, 30? Uh, 35, isn't it? It's uh, 30. Okay, oh, so it's okay. halved. So you're double moving this turn? Yeah. So you actually move 30. So you come across the opening for the gate, and you are now, you can feel the wrought iron gate, and you can feel yourself move through it. Done deal. Vexus. Yo, Jeremy, is your movement 35? Yeah. I keep mixing you guys up. That's, yeah. So you're the elf, and he's the half elf, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll move. Straight back. I'm against the. I'm against the wall. I, yeah, I mean, no, you can see it. Soon, I mean, as soon as you got a couple of feet back, you're outside the rain, so you can see it, right? And again, it's easy for you to get bearing. So you, you had a wall immediately to your side. That makes yeah. it easier for you to get a bearing, right? So as I, opposed to oh, but I, so even though I'm out of the radius, can I, I can't see through the darkness. No, you see darkness. You literally are staring into dark. Okay. Um, well, I mean. Do you have any ability to cast I have any kind mage, of light? I have a mage hand. Well, th that's the thing is like I could cast like minor illusion, right? So what do you, what do you think? What do you think about that? Um, a sound or doesn't, image. So an image doesn't like, create light illusion. though. I want something that a light it needs to have a spell that says it creates light. I mean, there's no spells like that that there are. Really, I mean, no, obviously there are, but <laughs> yeah. not, a, not that you have. Yeah. I mean, okay, no worries. Firebolt, Firebolt doesn't say it creates light. So you stand at the edge for a bit? No, I cast Mage Hand and I grab some other fucker in the... In the... I'll try to so grab Ben, your... I guess, and pull him back. Yeah, you send your hand straight in there until it contacts something? No, I mean, I kind of knew where Ben... He's right next to me, right? So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll try to aim where he was. The hand vanishes... If I'm, I'm literally right beside you. I'm to the right of you. I yeah, know. like, it does, the hand just barely goes into the darkness and it touches him. He's right on the edge of it. I know. Uh, you can manipulate an object. A hand can't attack, activate magic items, or carry more than 10 pounds. Okay. Uh, Kusa, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to attempt, or I'm going to use the dash action and attempt to move backwards. Okay. Uh, you got a flash of it, so I'll give you a better sense of getting your bearings than average. You can roll a 1d6, and I'm going to start, oh. I'm going to start in a southerly clockwise fashion. 1d6 is fine. Okay. Okay, and so you are not actually moving backwards just for your knowledge. So you move until you run into something, and to you, it feels like a base of a statue. You can tell by the shape, it's like a you're something round, pillory almost, right? And you can tell you're at the base of a statue. Okay. Okay, you guys uh, can make a perception check, everyone. Okay, everyone at 19, 20, uh, so to people, Kusa, Uglet, you guys hear the uncorking of a bottle and the sound of gluk, 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 gluk. They're healing. Um, so now we're going to deal with Lothus. Um, yeah. I mean, fuck, he was pretty far up. He's full health. Can you feel anyone around him? Or is he, I, kinda, I mean, I know he was high, He was higher, like like up here, or like around, whatever. Yeah, you're clicking right, right around the area, yeah. Um, skies, so if I, if I cast Was Sova skies, still unconscious? Was Sova still unconscious? No, I healed him. Okay, so everyone's conscious, right? Yeah, everyone should be conscious. Uh, if I can't, like, if I make like the sky self to put like a, it doesn't say so. Modern illusion, it says you can't create light. This so the only say. thing that's going to overcome a darkness spell is a light spell. It's specific right in the descriptor. You require a light spell, and so if you don't have a light spell, 
uh, creating an illusion or even having a torch or something. It's just an illusion of a torch. Mm -hmm. It's no different than a regular torch. So if you pulled out a regular torch and lit it right now, it wouldn't do anything to the darkness. But if you had magical light, so for instance, an ever-burning torch is a good example, it would overcome this spell. As much as the spell is powerful, it's only because it's, you know, you guys are not don't have a countermeasure handy. Yeah, right? I mean, does the, he have any light spells? He can create light. I think that's on a cleric spell list, isn't it? Cantrip from? Yeah, but they're shit. They're absolute dog shit. Why would you ever want like even even though this is it seems overpowered, it's not really because they can't see us either. Uh, yeah, the, the, the light cream, they're, they're so bad. Like I'll never use them ever. It's fine. Uh, I'm just saying can... that normally people have someone has a light cantrip, and so this is not usually this the super uh, trump card that it's turning into be because well, normally I, someone just goes, oh, wait, actually, wait, 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 no, no, calm down. I have thama I have this. I think so. I know that the, yeah. I'm a church. There you go. Cost Manifest a minor wonder. Flames to flicker, brighten, dim for one minute. Tremors yep. create instant change of sound. Yeah. Unlock door window. One and I know that I... there's a wizard one as well that I didn't take. Oh, it doesn't really say create. Oh, you course. can cause existing flames, so yeah, you're not yeah, creating it's, it's flames. Not creating, you can cause yeah. flames if I can. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just move. I'll just move uh, where I was facing. I'll move forward. So. Um, so you were facing forward originally. I was face. I just uh, healed. Oh, where the Sova. guys facing? Where the kind of in the direction you think of the archers? Okay. Roll one d three. No, no, no. Let's I was. I was facing. I was above Sova, healing him. I'm facing yeah. down towards the door. So which way are you trying to go? Down towards the door. Actually, okay. uh, yeah. Roll 1d3. Two. Two. That's fine. Okay. And how, what's his movement? 30, I believe. He's double yeah. moving? No, no, just single. Oh, just a regular move. Okay. So he moves 15 because he can't move 30 in the darkness. Sova. You still can't see? No, he can't. I'm going to use my dash action to then go directly back to the gate. Or just like move back. You're aiming for the gate again? Yeah. Yeah, D3. You can just fight type 4 slash R1D3 or roll a D6. It's the same difference to me. Wait, how do I do that? I type in. 4 slash R1D3. So 4 slash R space 1D3. Yeah, perfect. Two. Same diff. So you dash, so you double move. You run into somebody. You're still in the darkness, but you've literally run into somebody. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what else can he do? Let's just take a look. Okay. I'm going to fire into the darkness. I can hear where somebody is. Let's make a perception check. I fail. Okay, you hear an arrow go off. It's not near anybody. It goes into a square where somebody was. Oh, Glit. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Uh, would I be able to use Mage Hand to sort of swing it around to try to hit something? Um, the problem is your wander. No, I'm going to say no. It's not how it works. You don't get the same side of sensitivity with it. You can basically see stuff and use it to manipulate or carry something or an object, but um, no, it's not any helpful to you. All right. Well, screw it. I'll just take the dash action. Yeah. And try to make my way back. 1d8. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, what's your total movement? Uh, it'd be 50. So 25 total, half moved. Yeah. Okay, you run for 25 feet and don't touch anything. All right. Benescus. Um, I know where the guy is because of the flash of light. Right? He's right here, right? Right. Think the square you think he's in. Okay. This one right here? You think he's in that square, yes. I think he's in this square. <laughs> okay, and I want to cast Firebolt in that direction. Yeah, so it's a 50% mischance if he's in that square. Fuck. Okay. Um, he's probably not in that square. I move my mouse for one second to look at something, and then it. All right. To be fair, by the way. To be fair, by the way, I play the exact same rules for myself the exact same way, and I picked the wrong square. I mean, I could see you guys, but I picked the wrong square for this guy, and he had a fifty percent mischance into an empty square. So that's the outcome of that. What my action was. So just so yeah. You know. 
Uh, I just... cast Firebolt that way, and we also get a uh, little flash of light, right? Because it's Firebolt going in his direction. Yeah, you get a flash of light. Okay. Did I? Oh, yeah, I missed anyways, so. Um, flash of light, please. Flash of light. <laughs> you, you miss, by the yeah. way. Yeah, fair enough. Oops. Reveal areas. That's what you see. Oh, I was close. I was close. You, you were, were you very were close. What? No, he wasn't. No, he was I was like here. Yeah, you I was like right here. One, one square. You were this yeah, square. Wow. Ping it. Yeah. Because I moved my mouse, so I had to like go from, off of memory. I messed myself it was, up. It was legit. It was legit. Anyway, there you go. There's your flash. Everyone can everyone can cope now. I'm, I'm pulling on your arm with the mage hand. Oh. Yeah, so by the way, so if we can see where you are, everyone kind of gets the sense of where they are for a second. Okay, uh, Kelsier. Uh, can I try to shoot in the direction that I saw the guy? Yes, you can, actually. 50% uh, miss chance. You know where a square is right now. So You need to roll percentile first. Oh, okay. okay. Not that it would hit his AC, but percentile is always first. So miss chance is uh, 1 to 50, you miss. 51 to 100, you hit. So you miss. Okay. So you could have hit his square. You might not have hit his square. The reality is you miss. You hit the sequence off into nothing. Bexus. Uh, I'm just gonna go back more. Yeah, you're standing outside the darkness, and you're you can hear people right at the edge of the darkness, right? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, like Ben Ask is standing at the edge. Kelsier is standing right at the edge, like right at the edge. Sova's standing next to Kelsier. They ran into each other. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to point that out with the they didn't listen, so I'm just gonna yeah. back up. Kusa. Uh, I'm gonna target. This square right here, with Wick's bow. Yep. Uh, so my percentile. Yeah, blind fighting. Eight. Wick's you hit bow. square. Yeah, you know you're not advantaged in these attacks, just for what it's worth. Uh, oh, it okay. would normally be disadvantaged, and you're not disadvantaged. So just to cut this off, but you hit anyway. And then can I, I'm gonna roll my uh, two things for the targets. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Sixteen, just sixteen. Did you turn sixteen? Uh, Your IQ sixteen. <laughs> Let's. No, Twelve, thirteen. Okay, you did thirteen points of damage. Yeah, you hear oof and your thuds. Uh, that was a successful hit. Okay, you hear an uncorking of another bottle and. Glug, 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 glug. Lothus. I'll move straight. Like back still? Same direction as moving before. Yeah, 1d3. To move straight? Yeah, because as you start moving, your first square is going to be accurate, but your second square might not be as accurate. It's just, yeah, 4, which is 2. That's perfect. You run into somebody. But do you move past him? Yeah, move straight past him and use a dash action yep. to keep moving. So he's, you're now standing next to Vexus, just on the other side of Benescus. You just walked through Benescus. Okay. So I'll put him kind of like next well, to Vexus. Well, I'm not next to Vexus. Vexus is 60 feet off. Yeah, I get it. But, like, but yeah. on the map, I'm just, that's what I'm just describing where I'm putting him. But he's on the back. He's on the underside of Benescus. Okay. Um, and he's out of the darkness. Sova. I'm going to continue moving back. Okay. Same sort of thing. Uh, you move through somebody, and then immediately you're out of the darkness. And you can see Lothus there, and you can see Vexus a fair bit back. And I'm going to move you on the other side. We could, we could like call out and say like. You could have, and it would have helped you. It would have helped you guys. Yeah. And as you made more and more noise, I started making the. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but as you guys made more noise, I started making the difficulties easier. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. So unfortunately, Uglet was the first to go, and I was like, oh. Like that, then when I went, I was like, oh, well, that's a fair chance someone could get attracted to the sound of that direction, right? Because it's a party member, but then everyone was, you, you, you can tell more people are moving this way than that way, right? So, um, okay. Uh, a thought gets fired uh, at Kusa. Uh, square. Misses and mischance. Um, Uglet, what do you do? I'll just. I'll try to find my way around. Which way are you trying to go? Uh, like I saw a flash, right? Like I know where I am. Yeah. So did you try to go towards the edge? Do you try to go back towards the gate? What do you try to do? 
I'll try to go back towards the gate. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Make your make your roll. I'll uh, give you a one d six again. One d six or eight. One d six. No, no, six. Because you got a good, you got a bit of a better sense. All right. And I'll just take the dash action as well. Yeah. Okay. You move ten feet, and you're at the base of the statue. You know you're at the base of the statue. Okay. It's the sad truth. I feel bad for you. You were literally on the last square of the darkness, <laughs> and you ran back into it. You've done a giant circle in the darkness. Uh, that's the joy of darkness, right? Sometimes. Anyway, uh, you have more movement. So do you try to move around the statue and kind of use that as a bearing to sort of hit the ball? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just try to follow the wall. Okay. Kusa, you feel somebody try to shove through your space. What do you do? Uh... Uh, ask who it is. Okay. You hear Kusa ask you, who's that? Me, right? Yeah. I'll say, oh, it's ugly. Which one are you? <laughs> well, you can you know, the voices, so you can be like, it's uh, ugly. Uh, He's, who's that? Anyway, you move through him, you touch a rock wall, and you follow the rock wall a little bit, but you haven't got to the gate yet, but that's your movement. Uh, Benescus. Yo. Um, I'm going to cast Firebolt right here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So 50-50 chance? If 50% missed chance to square it. But right, I will I'm show thinking. you on your Firebolt just for your benefit. Did he move through yeah. Oh, did he move? Well, I, I moved. moved. Yeah, I'd move if I was. Yeah, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair, fair enough. So. Damn. That's rough. That's right. He's moved, and everyone gets a good flash of where everyone is. So there you go. That's what's going on. Everyone's good? Yep. Flash comes, the flash goes. Boom. Get ready oh, for my next no. turn, Dad. He's going to throw you off. Yeah, good. Do it. Kelsier. You're out. Oh, Kelsier, you're still barely in the darkness. But... Uh, can I just back up to get out of the darkness? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure when Sova said, oh, I'm out, right? And you can tell he's like right next to you, right? So you five foot step out, no big deal. You're all out of the darkness, so. I'm just going to lighten this whole area up now just for the gear guys' benefit so you can actually see your characters. So this little area is lit up. All right, boys. Uh, you guys are mostly out. Uh, no Kusa, no Uglet. Uh, Vexus. Oh, I'm going to run straight the fuck through. All the way through. All the way through what? 60 feet of movement speed up to here. Up to fucking... Okay, well, you're halved when you get into the darkness. Yeah, I know. So you can get a good alignment. You can totally get a good alignment. From the from the lightness, you can try to run straight so through. So this is my end goal. But you were 60 feet away past everyone else. So you move 60 feet back to the group then? Oh, yeah. Because you told me you were... That's yeah. true. Then, so then this then round... Mind, I'll just, I'll run you come, come stand at the edge of the darkness and then be like, listen, guys, we all got to line up as a team, hold hands, and run 63 through this bullshit. No, I'll just get... go back to the area and make a, make a camp. Okay, because that was a great idea. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's not 60 feet either. The darkness is not 60 feet, just for your benefit. I know. It's probably like 20. But so. I'm I'm going to run back to the area, whatever, where we, we camped yeah. last. Okay. Start setting up camp. Yeah. So you keep moving. Yeah. Who's up? Okay. I'm going to fire into this square. Yeah, because he hasn't had a turn yet. That counts. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and the fire. Oh. Yeah, that hits. You hear a thud. Ugh! And then my class BS. A total of eight, I take. Okay. And then I want to move five feet. Okay, where are you gonna move? Uh, or I'm gonna try to move twenty. I'll, I'll try to move five feet towards the gate. Okay, you move five feet towards the gate. Not a big deal. Lothus. He's still in the fucking woods, eh? No, Lothus is out. Oh, All you guys, him. everyone, everyone oh, is he's standing, his, he's standing sorry, here. His background yeah. is white. Uh, and yeah, he's on the other side of Ben. He's right below Ben right now. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Technically, Ben's in the injured? darkness. 
Is anybody injured? I am. Yeah, I'll fucking heal you up then. So, I'll hit you with uh, Healing Word at level 1. Uh, and I'll hit you with Cure Wounds at level 1. 16 points of healing, bro. 16? Nice. Silver. I am going to throw my javelin in this direction. Wait, how do I think of that? You hold left mouse. What the? It's not going to be. Graham, don't even try. <laughs> no, it's like right there. So, Make so sure you're on. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> We're still not, not going to call out for Ugly today. <laughs> Nobody wants him. So mean. Hold your percentile. Okay. At disadvantage. Oh, okay, okay. Still Doesn't good. matter. 19 is still a hit. If roll your 50%, yeah. though, please. Oh, what do you want me to do? Roll your 50%. Yeah, and you're like right at the, if you five, step okay. e even five more feet, you roll, uh, go to the dice, and then where it says D100, click on the D100. That's percentile. Or just write type forward slash R space 1D100. Yeah, yeah, that's a hit. Seven. Boom. Okay, you hear, ooh. So all, you've lost all your javelins you've used in this combat. I don't know how many javelins you got left, but you I lost them earlier. And then you lost. Yeah. Okay. Stand at the edge. Uh, you guys can hear some movement in there and nothing going on. Ugly, your turn. No arrows this time. Good. So I'm basically outright. Like, I know I'm going the right direction. Yeah, you so got your head on the wall. wall now. It's so easy once you follow the wall. You're just like, oh, just keep the wall on my on my right, right? And you follow it out if you want. Like, yeah, what screwed you was follow. you're the first guy to go in the middle of the open space. Like for Nathan, when Nathan went, I didn't make him roll because he's literally standing next to the wall, right? So you just got to put his arm out and go, there's the wall. You know what I mean? And that's what his half movement covers. So yeah, it's totally fair. So you can follow, you can be out of here with this round if you want. Yep. You yep. Okay, you're out. Bam. Uh, Benascus. Alrighty, this is my plan, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna shoot Scorching Ray right here. Oh. See this? <laughs> right? Yeah. See yeah. that? Okay. And then it's gonna light up off my first Scorch. Okay. So, you know, make that happen. It's gonna miss, but it doesn't matter. He, he could be dead, bro. Graham hit him. <laughs> yeah, well, because he, uh, he, we heard movement apparently, right? He did on his turn. Lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right here. Okay, he's right here. Okay, cool. You can turn the light off again. You scorched here. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Um, and now I'm going to cast my other two Scorching Rays on this person, but I'm going to use my uh, port Ooh, roll. My let me go click Scorching Ray. I want to see if they're simultaneous or not. All right. Some of them um, say they're simultaneous. I don't... Oh, they hit simultaneous, I'm pretty sure. Measure missiles does. You sure. create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. You can hurl them one to, to, at one target or several. Make a ranged attack spell for each ray on a hit target. So you were just like, I let my first one miss, and I aim with my second two. Fair enough. I actually, yeah. uh, this works. Yeah, that's I agree. That's really smart. Yeah. All right. So now I, I know where he is. I'm going to use my first port and roll to make sure this one hits, Okay. Yeah. which is a 19. I have a 19 and a 3. So there you go. Fuck, it would have hit anyways. It's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It hits. Okay. Yeah. And then my third one on him Ooh, hits as well. Beautiful. So I did 15 damage to him. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. That, that was good, but that was I mean, good. you hear, you, you definitely hear something clamber after your first ray, your second ray hits. So, uh, Kelsey. Um, it seems like everyone's leaving except for Benascus, who's still standing in darkness. He's like, fuck the darkness. I'm just going to cast light every round. <laughs> Scorching. Uh, so I saw for like a split second when he threw his light. Yeah. And he saw uh, that. Well, actually, Ben, it was light when you hit the guy. Your second ray would have shown the guy was on the ground. Your first ray dropped fair. him. Yeah. Uh, sorry, your third ray, I should say. Your second ray hit him and dropped him, and your third ray, he was already on the ground. Oh, so he's okay. dead? Yeah. He's saying. down. Sweet. He's down, or is he he's dead? BM, this motherfucker. Yeah, so he's... how long does this the darkness last? 
Um, that's a great question. It doesn't require concentration. Oh, this is an excellent question. Time. Actually, just wait a second here. Uh, casting time duration is 10 minutes. But uh, if you become unconscious, does the darkness drop? It doesn't require con con concentration. It lasts for 10 minutes. Casting time, one action. It doesn't say anything about concentration. Cut, cut, wait, really? Yeah. That's so overpowered. Wait, so you can cast like eight fucking darknesses and, and just like completely... Well, it's a second level spell. It's a, it's a second level spell. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know if this drops or not. Uh, um, it it literally says it concentration. Ugly. Does it? Concentration up to 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm not on my thing. That's I got, uh, I'm got. Uh, i on D&D &D Beyond. I'm on roll 20. I'll put yeah. that in the thing. Well, can we look at my screen? Come actually look at my screen. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's yeah. concentration? Yeah. Okay, so it drops. Okay. Uh, boom. Ben, when you drop the guy, the darkness drops. So he's not dead, he's just down. Well, he's laying on the ground. You don't know if they're dead or not, to be honest. Yeah, but like... Yeah. I have, I have to, a, sneak, a sneaking suspicion that he's still alive. Okay. Um, Vexus. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm... I wouldn't know this shit. I'm You're long gone, gone, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Uglet, it's already over here. Um, Vax is going to skip Kusa. Yeah, I'm going. Um, I'll try to just shoot the guy who's down and kill confirm him. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Smart play, Jeremy. Smart play. No, it's not. <laughs> you get AC when he's down, or? Um, yeah. He's denied his decks, so you hit him. And he's laying there, and you sink an arrow into him. So, there you go. Uh, do I still get my right. bonuses for having him marked when he's alive? Like, can I just hit him with a 1d4 and a 1d4? Oh, yeah, you would know. Your Wix bow is free to remark if you want. Yeah. Oh. Wrong. Okay, so he's dead. No, I was talking about, like, dead. these... Like my, my no, two other abilities, that I yeah, before. they also will switch once he's dead. Okay, so this guy yells something in Elven and says, uh, I curse you for all time, blah, blah, blah. You can see he's got the up here. You can see he's got the wizard back up. Um, and he basically grabs the wizard and they leave. Fuck. Um, so the combat's over? They essentially flee. And do where, not... where do they leave to? They run off just... back up this way. Yeah. Right. Uh, I want to go after them. Okay. Well, there's a door. There's a giant door here. That's fine. I want to go after them. Do you want to maybe summon your buddy who's left the group now? Um, I do want to go get Vexus. So yeah. scream, yeah. scream at Vexus. Okay. I mean, he's a hundred well, feet away. He's... He can catch his attention. Yeah. Okay. I mean, scream on the top of my lungs. I screech and I, and I yell, Vexus, let's go after them. Like, if you think about it, it, I'm up the stairs, and then in a little... Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. You can make a perception check, Vexus. Vex yeah, sure. Go ahead, roll perception. It's not an easy difficulty, no. even though you're screaming. Yeah, he fails. So you never see Vexus again. He leaves forever. Uh, okay, well, let's go back. Let's go back Lothus. and get him. Lothus. Lothus. No, we're, we're else, we, should, we, we should rest anyways. Like, Lothus has, has two fucking spell slots left. I, I don't... I mean, yeah. Okay, so the party pulls back. And rests? I think so. Sure. Okay, cool. That'll be a good game session. We'll wrap it up there. See you guys next week. All right. All right. Damn. Dude, I really wanted to kill that wizard, bro. Yeah, I know. Me too. Wait, so after he killed the archer, wait, wait, hold on. Before next week. Hold on. No, 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 no. What is this? I right. want to go loot the archer. Yeah. 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 No, looting archer. Archer. no you're either them? either going into this room and potentially re-engaging in a fight, or you're yeah, not. I'm, not I'm down for that. What? Then send one person to, to get me or something, and then fucking go. Like, it's not yeah. difficult. All right, I, I go in here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go I, in alone. I actually agree with looting him first. All right, can I go? I'll just try to use movement then to get up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I move my 30 feet here. 
Oh, wait, no. Uh, the light dropped on your turn. You yelled for Vexus. Your turn is done. You killed the guy in your turn. All right, my turn's done. So let's... Slow. You can still move. All right. You didn't All right, is Lothus' turn? Okay, well, Lothus will go. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't use my movement at yeah. all. I just yelled at Vexus, so I can still move. Oh, wait, I'm still right here because we're still in turn order. Yeah. So Lothus moves into the room? No, no, no. Lothus will, will come to the top of the stairs until he can see Oh, Lothus starts trying to run you down. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not very far, but... Okay, so I'll give you guys four rounds. You'll come back around. Silva, because uh, you're two rounds okay. away. It takes him two rounds to catch up to you. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I mean? He's got to run your way. Well, get you. How many, like, how, how long is the stairs? Because he's going to have to be on top of me. If he can see me, that's all yeah, the, the stairs are about 120 feet from the t from the portcullis to portcullis. 120 feet. Couldn't so Lotus oh. move, then yell for Vexus, and then move again, then yell for Vexus? Yeah, like, keep on doing that. yeah of course. You can, every round. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Silva. Where are we going back in? Well, I Benet's am alone. Good. Oh, alone? Uh, so unless I'm, you want to come with me. I couldn't uh, hear him. Full HP. Ah, uh, fuck it. Okay. I, and I still have a second level spell to use. Which is so. like 12. Yeah, His full, full HP is like 12. Let's much. not get ahead of ourselves here. Uh, I actually have 13 have HP. 13, I have 13, sorry. So. Sorry, my bad. I have 14, yeah. bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move in, I guess. I didn't. Nice, nice. All right. Whose turn is it now? Um, wait, oh, let's see. Uh, okay, so that's it. You move up to there? Yep. Okay, Benascus. All right, um, I'm going to move my 30 feet again. Um, you can full move. You can double move if you want. I'm, yeah, but I have to climb up this, right? Yeah, let me go put that body back on there then for you. I didn't realize yes. it's that important, but that's cool. I got to, and I'm not certain the exact square he dropped in, but it was up top there. It right was like right here, there. I'm pretty sure, right here somewhere. Yeah. One so of these two squares. I don't know. Throw him on here. I think he was near the corner. I don't know where I was oh, before. There, there. That's good enough. Okay. okay. He's there. All right. Um, so climbing's uh, half movement, right? It takes. And it's a climb movement. check. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to. So I can do 25 feet then. I can do this, right? Or hold on. So I have a question. Would this count as two squares of um, climbing terrain? Because it's like not. It's 15 feet, so it's 30 feet of climbing, 30 feet of movement to climb up that. Oh, okay, so I'll just um, move to the bottom this. of the move to the bottom of the thing. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. But yeah. it'd be like here or here, right? Yeah. Wait, why? Why? Because you used 30 feet to get bottom. there, bro. You were like it, here. It, was, it took. Yeah, and then I moved again. I mo I double move. I double moved. You could be here. You could be yeah. anywhere at the bottom of that cliff, basically. I'm so just I saying. can move. I can move here with my thirty feet, and then I can use my second action to move another thirty but feet. But Ben, you and won't then... finish climbing at this turn. Why would you well, just move to here and then climb the full wall? Why would you right. move to there and then come yeah. halfway up the wall? Right, yeah, fair enough. Kels here. Well, does this uh... make enough? No. <laughs> Else here. What are you doing? I'll just move up with Kusa and the rest of them. Okay, that's it. Vexus. Make a perception check. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, I don't think it matters. Just take his head. Yeah. Uh, Kusa. Um, I'm going to move 20 feet here. I'm going to double move and try to climb the wall. Yep. Do you want an athletics check? or? Yes, I do. So why didn't Ben roll up? Not even close. Track? You end up on your ass. You get like one tiny little foothold, try to get up, boom, right on your ass. And no one okay. calls the statues like I recommend you. Uh, Lothus. Uh, he'll call again. Nothing happens. He'll come back to the, yeah. the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Sova. He said BRB oh. in the chat. Okay. Like just well, uh, he'll probably move up. I'll let him go afterwards. Ugly. I'll just use my dash action and uh, let's hear. 
I'll run up to the statue for 20 feet, and then I'd like to just try to climb to the top of it. So okay. why are we all climbing? Like, what, what are you, what's your, your end goal? Sounds to me like a They're all game. racing me for the loot, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna you... cast Portent on someone and make them fail their uh, check. Yeah, that's smart. Because, 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 oh, honestly, no, but I respect yeah. that. It's like Ben fucking solo killed that. They're trying to take my loot, bro. Yeah, exactly. That, that's okay, like, yeah. go ahead. You're going to make what? a climb check, Uglet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ben did kind of sort of kill it. Sorry, what's a climb check? You're yeah, athletics. Athletics. Or, uh, or acrobatics, you can pick. Yeah, they no, don't climb. Else here. Uh, I'm just gonna watch them attempt to climb it. All right, fair enough. Okay, Vexus, make a perception. Oh, you already did your second one. Never mind. Yeah. Kusa. Gone with the wind. I want to attempt to climb. Yeah. All right, I'm I going to cast yeah. portents on him and make him fall. <laughs> Let him see what he does. Oh, you have to declare ahead of time? Yeah, I have to declare ahead of, ahead of time, so I have to do and, that. And you can use luck as well. So you fail this round. I, I, I literally did as fail much damage role. to him as you. Lothus. Uh, I'll just tell Ben, take the, like, make sure to take the drow head. Like, loot it or whatever, but take the head, because it'll be used, useful for like political and like diplomatic reasons later. Yeah, so he moves yeah. in the room. Okay, Sova. You back yet? You know I'm back, yeah. Okay, you have two uh, you have two rounds with action. So you want to try to climb the wall, or you want to just stay in the middle of the room. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'll try climbing it. Okay, so the first last round you moved up to the wall. This round you can attempt climbing it. So go ahead and make a climb check. That's athletics. Yeah, you couldn't tell by seeing another two in the chat. Fail. That's nice. acrobatics. Well, okay. You can pick another one. It doesn't matter. It is. It's that you can pick one. I think. Uh, wait, so just I don't walk think up so. the wall and try yeah, wait, climbing again. Not. I think it's, uh... Yeah, you can jump again. All right. Yeah. Oh, wait, athletics is strength. Oh, I see. I'll go fails. I'll go, you can try a second time. Okay. <laughs> Dude, yeah. this is this Both times you end up in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> and ask us. No, no, don't get enough up. It's fine. All right. I'm going to try to climb this. Yeah. Um, It's athletics, right? Yeah. I don't have athletics. No, you don't. It's hard. This hard wall is hard to climb. Ben, you have I told lucky. you guys ahead of time it's hard to climb. Oh, ben, you have lucky. Which is, and that's yeah, true. Why, the statues, bro. Like I recommended the first time. Climb the fucking. Why well, actually do you have athletics? Um. All right. Well. Use lucky. Okay. Um. I use lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Which. So I just re-roll, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, this fuck. is so pathetic. Okay. <laughs> fail. You can attempt to climb a second time now. Um. All right. Well. With your dash. Actually, hold on. Let me just think for a second. So. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This. Just, what's the range of thirty feet? Well, how far is this? Fifteen. So I have a question. Am I able to use a spell over top of the hill to pull him? What's the spell? Mage hand. Uh, mage hand. He's, he's more no, than 10 pounds. it's ten pounds. Yeah. It's limited to ten pounds. Ah, uh, ten pounds picking up, right? But if you pull, it's less weight. It's not as heavy. It's friction. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna try to move up again then. Um. Which is gonna fail, but oh. Well, well, you make it up to the top of the wall in your entire turn. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Kelsier. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to the gate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vex is gone. Kusa. I'll attempt to climb again. Yeah. Yeah, you oh, make it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, okay. That's so 30 feet. Lucky. That's 30 feet of movement. Lucky, lucky. And then I'll use my remaining 25 to, to get to the body and check it for loot. Yeah, Do well, you, uh, you don't get jacket for loot. You are standing next to the body. That's okay. true. That is in your entire movement. Okay. Uh, Lothus. Sorry, I skipped Lothus, but he's just covering, right? Yeah. Damage to him as well. He's going to move mid room just to that be closer to cover people. Okay, Uglet. Actually, are you low still, Julian? Are you low, low HP? Yeah. About, like, by a lot? Here, I'll cast uh... Uh, Q wounds on you. There's okay. 11 just, yeah, this one is good enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Guys, let's go. Who? Who's that? Sova? Sova. Yeah, you're on the bottom. Yeah, sorry. I might have skipped you. Sorry, Sova. Go ahead. Make your roll. Yeah, 
you on your ass. I can attempt again. I guess you try again. Yeah. With your dash action. <laughs> no, 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 oh, sorry. I now I skipped accidentally. Ugly, ugly. Did you roll to try to get up the wall? Uh, sure. I'll try again. Like to what end? Like, what are you guys no, to accomplish? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Fuck. And I keep doing this. Ben Eskis, Sorry. Your turn. All right. Um. <clears throat> now, do I want to push Jeremy off the cliff, or do I just go take the loot and then try to kill him after? You can stand. Oh, you, can, you can stand also... on top of the body. You can stand stand on top of the body. Start rifling through. Yeah. yeah. All right. I do that and. Am I able to take off his head as well, so he can't get revived? Well, not all in no, one round. Yeah, just start oh, right, I just take his loot. I just take his loot. What, what so loot does he have? Make a perception roll when you get there. Perception roll? Yeah. Okay. Um, Kusa, perception. you can make a perception roll too. Fuck. Lucky, 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 lucky. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right. Lucky. Uh, as well. Is that are you, are you able to do that? Because I, I don't have. Yeah, it's a skill check, Ben. Skill checks. So, I, I'm going to say matters. yes, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, right? Anytime you're affecting somebody else, they have the option to attempt to resist it. Inherently, I do not resist it. You don't, obviously, but yeah. Kusa might. Inherently, if you try to make lucky, or you're going to lucky your own role, you're not going to try to lucky his role. I understand. No. But, you know, yeah, yeah it, that's totally fine. You can't resist lucky. It's just like fate or whatever. But this is what I mean. If this you're meddling like with somebody check. else, they should inherently get a chance to resist it. So if you start doing negative effects to people, I'm going to give them opportunities to resist. Stuff. That makes no sense. <laughs> it's not. It's not a negative. What about, what about us? I have a spell. I was going to cast. I was going to cast it on Jeremy. It's called sleep, and it makes people within <laughs> 20 feet, if I ca uh, cast it, fall asleep. Yeah. So he, yeah, so he gets the same stuff. effects. It's the same effects effects as an enemy, or same chances as an enemy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because right now he is my enemy, and that's how I see him. All right, I'm going to recast this in uh, 50. Like, just being an ass. Just a perception. Is that... <laughs> what is that? Based? <laughs> oh, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, what do I see with that? Why did I do perception roll? Also, what loot was on him? Because I, I didn't... Uh... Yeah, so, that's anyway, uh, he has a... What does he have? Do -do 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 -do. You find a hand crossbow. Okay. And a short sword. Okay. And studded leather armor. I take all of it. Yeah, Please. well, it'll take you a couple of rounds. <laughs> take you a couple of rounds to do all of that, but that's what you get. All right. Well, can sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Sorry, I um. Hand crossbow. Okay. Short sword. Okay. Studded leather. Okay. So, what gear can I take this turn? The hand crossbow and the short sword. Yeah, that's reasonable. But I can't. Okay. Well, there's a bitch to get off, right? Yeah. Six seconds. You'll be up there for a bit. I don't know you guys are fighting over this. There's nothing. It's yeah. Not... No, it's not, it is, it's, see, it's not even about the gear. It's it's the uh, the, it's the fact that he's trying to take it from me. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, he like, had... like Ben made yeah. the choice to go in like... first and climb the wall and go for the loot. It was his idea, and then everyone just like piggybacked and tried to. I don't know. I, he I, had I, no I, potions. I, no, I, yeah. Neither of the two of them had potions. The wizard had the potions. That's why the fighter went back to the wizard to pick the potions up, and then drank one and then gave one to the wizard. So, and they can be unconscious, they can be rendered unconscious, but this guy was not recovered, and he's dead. He's full on dead. All right. So, so you can take his head if you want, or whatever. It's just going to piss them off even more. I really don't know if I was muted this whole time, but going up to the body was initially my idea. Just just saying. That's no, not true. I, I had the no, idea. No, it is. Such shit. But I didn't because I, I, instant, I instantly said, like, you guys were going to say, let's go for a rest, and then I said, uh, I said actually, no. I, I said I wanted the body. body. Yeah. I said, said I wanted the body. And I walk in here first. I, I, I must guys... have fucking muted this whole time. Like. Yeah. You guys uh, can go to World War Three over the short sword and the hand crossbow if you want. That's no problem. Yeah. For me. Ben I know. I know. And anyway, ben was just being a dick for no reason. It's not you guys, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You guys all all pull back then. Yeah. Is that the plan? Pull back. Cool. Well, no. I want to take the studded leather then. If everyone else is going to leave. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Hey, you take the right, course. And knock on the door. And the head. Bro. Yeah. The the door doesn't seem to have any logical way to open it from this side. Hmm. It's wooden. It is reinforced a uh, heavy wood door. What the fuck does it's that mean? <laughs> it means it's got steel bracing across it. Okay, but it's mostly wood. Just burn it down. A little text on the screen says it's open from the other side. Sorry, what? Yeah, but you guys are going to go back and rest, right? That's the plan? Yep. So there yeah. you go. That's the session. You guys can go back and rest, and then you can okay. deal with these guys later if you want, or you can finish the sewers, because this is definitely not sewers anymore. Yeah, you're way those, outside the are, are we able to rest in? 
Oh, sorry. Do what? Uh, in this main area, and then we can just go through the doors the next session. Why would you want to do that? To go let's see what's behind the door. But we can kinda... just go up top to the old... Yeah, all right, sure. the This is like doors. ancient ruins, and you get the sense that these guys are a lot higher level. And once yeah. again, yeah. you've skipped all the easy encounters and gone straight for the hardest thing you could find. You'd push, yeah. push his body off the cliff first, so it'd be a bitch for them to, to recover it, and they might fall we're trying to climb them back up. Well, I mean, that That's warrior right. had no problem because they can all levitate. Every single one of them has the yeah, ability yeah, well, to levitate. It, it's the disrespect. Push him up the cliff. Okay. The floor, Actually, can I piss on his body before we leave so he reeks of piss when he's trying to find him? Drow, I mean, you can. Uh, yes, I, you can do whatever you want. I'm sure. All right. Well, and and then we, 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 we don't sleep in the in the cave because then they might come after right. us. So we go back up yeah. to the surface with the head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you throw every insult you can at these drow. No problem. Wait, can I, can I explain how I take his head off? No, it's fine. They're right. they're they're well aware of what you've right. done and how you've right, defiled one of their own one of their own members' bodies. It's no right, problem. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right, nice session, guys. Yeah. I had I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Lothus tells you guys we really don't want to fuck with these guys. The, the church has had some dealings with them. Every once in a while, we have some contacts down here, and he'd heard, didn't know where the entry was, but he'd heard of an ancient ruins beneath the city. And the fact is that their drow do come and sneak up in the city at night, and there's a night market, and every once in a while they believe there's drow in the night market. So these guys have access to the city, and it's an open city too, so the, the city would not turn away a drow, right? Unless they're as long as they're behaving with so, the city. Yeah, rules. why are they so toxic then to us? They fucking attack us on sight. Well, it we could be because this is an ancient ruin, and there's something about it. There's some some special properties to this place. So we're, we're I think our, our original quest was to fight a like a group of bandits. Bandits in the sewers, right? This kind of seems like... Yeah, there's a the rat lines. infestation. This is a rat oh, infestation rat. in the sewers, which we're so fucking far away from right now. Yeah. <sighs> well... Yeah. Oh, they'd been having workers go down and get attacked in the sewers as well. Okay. So your mission is to clean out the sewers. That's your mission. Wait, so if drow are allowed in the city, would it be, would it be like... Kill some drow in the sewers. Like bad to carry a drow head? That's cool, man. Open? You guys do whatever you want to do. So... You're back on the old safe map here. Yeah, you just walk around the city with a drow head, no problem. It's, it's, it's not, an, it's not like, a, like a socially like. No, no, not not here. Let's fucking. Uh, I mean, you can walk around the city with a head. You can walk around the city with a head. Anything. You can rest right here. It's a safe uh, spot. He's rest right here. Leave the sewers. Right. Leave the sewers. Very safe. Like, feel, feel very safe here. Spent at least two nights already sleeping right here. It's I'm good. Place. But we can we can go to the the actual surface. Yes. Okay. You sure you don't want the bonus XP for sleeping here tonight? Wait, we we actually get bonus XP. Oh. We don't really get XP, so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no XP. That's just fucking dead. All right, cool. Well, you guys do your thing. Uh, I'll do this next week Thursday. So I might not. I, I'm hoping I'll be back here Thursday. So I'm coming back from Vancouver Thursday. This should be good. Okay. You guys had. Do you guys have fun? Yes. Uh, yeah, I had a great. I had a lot of fun. It was great. I I enjoyed it. Just pegging people in the darkness while being virtually invulnerable <laughs> totally thought i'm gonna be honest with you i totally thought it would have been way easier for you guys to defeat the darkness I, it sounds dumb sometimes it's one of those things though it's one of those dumb spells you just didn't you guys weren't quite prepared for and it becomes a defining factor for a combat the combat was not supposed to go that way they were just trying to like create a round or two of breather and then you know waste someone casting light or waste a few actions and that didn't realize it was the universal defeating tactic well, that it turned into but that's, us at all. That shit happens us. right and it's a second level spell that's a little... no no I, I, both parties like i was screwed right i was down to like a handful of hit points on one guy and the archer dude was like i got a cover for my team here and you know the wizard was down to one hit uh, zero hit points i mean so it was like right there where they were like we gotta you know get him recovered right mm -hmm. so they were like recover the party and now they'll come back with friends, knowing that Generally, you guys are coming. NPCs don't have saving death rules, but these aren't these aren't yeah. NPCs per se. No. These are less NPCs. <laughs> Who left? Someone bailed. Jeremy. Oh, no, he's just been tickled a little bit. I, I don't know. Because like, Ben is short. Is that I would have given him the loot if he didn't try to do that to me straight up. I would have given him yeah. like leather armor. Sure. I don't need the hand crossbow. I don't mind. I would have given it to him. Now I'm going to sell all of it. I think just the hand crossbows were actually more than the. I sold one in our, in our last campaign and it was worth yeah, I don't understand how you guys do loot. Like, I, my party is always like split everything evenly. Whatever it is gets sold. And under the penny gets split. 
Yeah, and like that's fair. Like I don't usually even like take the loot, but like it was my idea to go up there. So I, in my uh, view, I genuinely saw that as like Jeremy trying to like steal from me. So yeah, I was like, no, I, I, I was genuinely well. angry. I was like, what the fuck? So then, especially like coming from Jeremy too, I was like, damn, bro. So then I was like, okay, that's war. Then you're my enemy. No problem. <laughs> you guys are in the same party. You guys are in the I, same. I know. Party. Anyway, I, Nathan, I know. Yeah, we got to be out of the house at seven o'clock. So fine. set your alarm to be you know, five to seven or whatever you need, and then we'll take the truck. You could drop me off. Yeah, I'm up at six anyways, if you're kidding. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. Uh, had fun. I hope you guys had fun, too. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. Yep, see you next see week. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that wasn't wrong of me, right? I would have done the same. Actually, I would have been even... You were nicer than I was. But I, would have been... I was going to make him fall asleep or push him off the hill, but the thing is, if I push him off the hill, then I wouldn't, then I wouldn't be able to loot as much. Why? Because then dad, dad would say, like, oh, you have to, you know, it takes two turns to loot this because you already did that as an action or something. He would say that because I pushed my own party. He say that because I pushed my own party member off the cliff. He yeah, would just punish yeah, me for it. Yeah, you're right. You're so that's right. why I didn't do it. But I, if I had no repercussions there, I would have done it 100. Yeah. I would have been fall asleep and I would have been fall asleep and then fall, so he wouldn't be able to like brace his landing at all and just probably die. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought of some ideas. Yeah, like, and I, I like splitting loot, but at the same, like, you know, like we gave Graham probably one and a half thousand gold in in magic items. Like, play, yeah. So actually, played armor by itself, I think I think it's one point two. Plus the magic shield, we probably or over like over two thousand gold in magic items. Let me just check real quick. D and D, uh, five E plate armor. So regular. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Why isn't it? There we go. Regular plate armor. Oh, regular plate armor is fifteen uh, hundred GP. So yeah, so he's easily over two thousand gold in in magic items that we that we just gave him. Yeah. And although and also one person. What? Yeah. I'm still looking it up myself. I was gonna ask you, but I, you're probably just gonna look it up, so I'll look it up myself. How much what? The shield? The studded leather armor. It's, uh, it's forty five gold. I already, already looked it up. It's forty five. Forty five? Oh okay. the, the hand crossbow yeah, thank you. I, I actually I didn't look the hand crossbow. I think it's worth more. Let me just check real quick. Oh yeah, also were you guys saying that I was like racing like out of Ben and Jeremy to the loot? It, I mean, no, what, just like, Jeremy. I was asking you, what is your like? What, to what end are you climbing that? Why? Why are you climbing it? You get over that because there's like a pathway behind it, so you don't have to go through the door. Because I don't know whether it's unlocked or locked. No, but we're not. We're not. Are you paying attention to our our consensus? Is we're not going to push forwards when we're all half dead and out of spell slots. It's uh yeah, so it's seventy five the high crossbow. Um. So yeah, they, they they were climbing that just to loot him, right? And then there's now there's four of you trying to climb the the thing. And I was like, bro, and you're all failing over and over again. I was like, dude, it was just brutal. I was just sit back, sitting back and watching. Yeah, you, you and I were, but everybody else was not. So the thing is, is that like I didn't know if Jacob was going for the loot or not, so that's why it didn't like anger me. But Jeremy was directly headed towards the loot, so well, it like, like enraged me. Just to me. spite you as well, like you, you said pretty clearly, I'm gonna go loot him, and then he, yeah. and he used all. And then he tried to say that thing. he's the one who came up with the idea. I was like, bro. Oh, I haven't recorded. Actually, Fuck. I know. If, I know for a fact yeah. it was you. And I, and I had yeah. the idea even before you did, but I didn't say anything because I was. I, I'm trying not to cut back. On, yeah. Like, helping you guys out because you guys don't fucking think. None of you think. Uh, th that was smart, Ben. The the fucking using the. the I three. think, bro. You see what I? Not all. Uh, you do some, some stupid shit. You do some dumb shit. You you have your fair share of dumb moments. That was smart. Uh, really? Damn, bro. I'm super smart at this. No, game. like Crap. like uh, what happened in this in this fucking area alone? You did something. Um, For, uh, the first encounter, I got down to three HP in the first encounter, so I was just like hiding behind the statue. Yeah, oh, the, the first like that one shot what, on me yeah, with the, the magic 18, missiles. I yeah. have three HP left after that. Yeah, so so that shield that Graham has, um, there's like a a magic missile like exclusive um item that like just counters ma magic missiles. I I thought that was it, but no, it's it's yeah, it is different. Actually, I think it's, it's called something like Shield of D and D. Uh, does, does Graham knock on your door? No, that's not me. Oh, shield of, uh, of... Magic missiles or some shit like right. that. See ya, boys. See ya. See ya. This is the traction. Alright, I'm gonna go. Yeah. See ya. It's a spell. Alright.